You know, I feel bad for it. His son that he was ridiculing to quit on the Yo. treadmill. Yo. Because this whole time. He's like, dad, be a man, right? Yeah. This, this whole time, his son's probably like, it's just a gay ass son. <laughs> <laughs> you got breath. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? I tried my best to get nah, through this. Nah, you, 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 you. Yo. And then Yo, here you go. It's true. And here what you go. Doing? Never get my job. No. Never. 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 Shut Never. Down. Never. Oh my god. Yo. Need a new avenue. They're gonna cancel us. Yo, bad. That shit crazy. It's all even with your boy Barry Grant. You can catch me on Instagram and Twitter at All Even Podcast. You can listen to the show on Megaphone as well as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. I'm all over the place. And trust me, go to YouTube, hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend because the page is growing. Go. Were you here last week? Yeah. Had like oh, you did a yeah. You did like a quick come in, Look come out, pause. Had a kind of life. Yeah, didn't like that. Didn't Can like that. But, you know, happy to see you. Hey, likewise. The beer's cold. Thanks. I got that nice neon shirt on. Yeah, that bright hard glasses on. I love you, it. You feel me? Yeah. Looking yeah. good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Phil's in the building. Hey. How you doing, man? Nice to be here. You're just always too cool for me, I like bro. being like, here. Yeah, you know? I know you do. This is my escape. Is it? Yeah. Uh, escape from the family? Of course. Yeah. Of course. You, can see, you can see his thighs right now, by the way. Huh? What? You can see his thighs. Right. It's it's the summer, you know. Yeah. It's shorts, it's hot outside. What they like, call what they call them again? Hoochie Daddy shorts? Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? Don't make me ask you to stand Hoochie. up on camera. All right? All right, let's, these, let's, these, let's, let's I'm sitting let's down, sir. Let's stop and it. Let's this is stop why they're that. elevated. Let's here, not do okay? that. Right, I'm behind the desk. Right. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> 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 the calling the ones and twos a silent assassin. How you doing? Good. Yeah. How's your week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she does a lot of stuff. She's very busy, but shouts to Nicole. She watches anime porn. Shout. She does not. Shout okay? out to Nicole. Relax. Relax. Okay. That, that's an off camera conversation. It is. Don't bring that on the pod. All right. Don't bring that on the pod. Don't do that. Fang's here. How you doing, Fang? I we feel, all know he's here. I feel nice. Do you? Like sugar and spice. <laughs> Feeling good? <laughs> Feeling good. ready, energized, ready to go? I feel good. Chilling freeze. I'm here. Are you? <laughs> I'm here. You know, you got. Just make sure. For now. Right. Right, the, you know the clock has started. Right, clock started is now. You know, I I I almost pulled the trigger, but you know, I gave yeah. him eleven forty. I'm not gonna do it. Eleven forty five. I over under. Over he under. He did it already. Chloe, what do you think? Over so under. Why, why why are y'all pushing it on me? He did it already. No, over under. Serious. Oppenheimer already pressed the button. Bro. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. yo. Look, yo. man, the the fact that the energy is up today, I love it. You know, oh, energy is always up, but I feel personally. I do. Day 16 of my juice cleanse. I feel good. I really do. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel great. Feel great. Juice cleanse. Yeah. Hmm. Dropped a lot of weight. Got a lot of people telling me, you look, your skin looks good. You're, you've, you've lost a lot of weight. You know? That means you were lying to you before. Right. <laughs> you weren't being honest. Right? I, I always told you. Like, bro, early. when I had the I had the pouch in front of me. Nobody was saying nothing, right? They didn't tell me how fat I was, bro. I, it was bad. It was bad. We, al- point- we always say that we don't get paid to think around here, so we just be like, hmm. Oh, so you guys don't tell me that I look bad in my shirts? I tell you you look ugly. I mean, I've been hearing that a lot, but you know that doesn't affect me. The, the, the stomach does bother me, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, stomach can, I can read your whole shirt now. That, that's crazy. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Wow. You know what was crazy? You know what was bad? Like before the juice <laughs> cleanse, that I used to like be upstairs playing my son, right? And whatever we're doing, like we're building like the train set or whatever it is. And every so often, I would have to pull my shirt down like a thought because it would roll up because the stomach was just so dominant. It's okay. And it would. <laughs> like, it, it, it was bad. I felt really bad. 
Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, I gotta make a change here. I see right. You do that shit. Yo. You know what I mean? Oh, That's man. not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling, bro. I seen it. Yeah. It's not a good feeling, bro. You watching TV and the shirt just roll up for no reason. Like, that's not a good feeling. Uh, You know what I mean? I had to look down to make sure I was okay. Nah, you good, bro. You all right. You know what I mean? Because the thing is, you wear shirts that fit you. I be trying to fit in the shirts that don't fit me or didn't fit me at the time. I'm over here trying, like, living in denial, right? Facts. I'm not living in denial anymore. I feel good. Feel good. Welcome back. Ray roll. Well, I I told you about your shirt earlier. What did you say about the, it? Doesn't need ironing though. It did earlier. Well, it was on. The, it was on the thing. Just, just leave me alone. All right, I'm, I'm feeling good. Don't try to throw stones at me. Wait, can I okay? throw one more stone? It's hilarious that you have a different shirt every week and you still order them in the wrong size. Yes. Mm. You never decided. You never decided. Oh, I'm just gonna go. No, off the size no, because and, and I was stubborn. Shirt. I was like, one day, one day. I'm like Dennis Robin. One day, <laughs> I'm gonna fit into these shirts. It's gonna look good, right? I'm here now. I'm here now. Can we get an applause? Welcome yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome yeah. back. Yeah. 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 Shirts fit. You know what I mean? So yeah. good. Lots to get into, though. Yeah. Obviously, the biggest news in sports right now, the commanders are officially sold. Magic Johnson is the owner. Josh That's Harris sure. is good. Um, hmm. We got a whole bunch of other uh, football news to discuss. Jets watch. We got to talk about training camp, right? We, we are on the cusp of hard knocks, right? So that's going to be a big thing, right? Uh, what else we got here? Melvin Gordon signs with the Ravens, yeah. and Saquon didn't get his deal like I told y'all he wouldn't. You know, I'd like apologies in here. Not for me. I would. I'll have apologies. Um, what else we got here? Uh, Jordan Poole, his father. You know that whole situation with him and Draymond. We're gonna talk about that. Um, Jimmy Butler said some comments, not really crazy, but I, I want to discuss it because it's. A little interesting. Um, Evan Fournier calls out Tom Thibodeau. I loved it. Loved it. He called out Homer Simpson. I loved it. I'm back him 100%. 100%. (laughs) Right? Shohei Itani, the biggest star in baseball. Is he going to get traded? That's the biggest thing right now. And the package pause. Um, you know, they said it's going to be, it's going to be massive. Oh, right? wow. Yeah. Pause. I, I, I had to say it. I had to say it. To I had to say it. I had to say it. My bad. Get your man. My bad. My bad. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. Right? Um, yeah, this, this, this story right here is crazy. Dwight Howard. Oh, wow. Yes. Dwight Howard. It's got to stop. This is, this is bad. Like, uh, did, did you hear about it? Yeah, All right, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I just want to make sure everybody on the same page. Nicole, you heard about this? Ah, uh, okay. So when we break it, you'll you'll hear irrelevant news of the week, and then the greatest segment on the planet, W of the week. Dummy. Yeah. Before I get into that, though, I did tease what I was gonna speak about off camera to you. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've all experienced this, and I like to discuss it because. I've seen something come up recently and like it's always a problem. You go out somebody's birthday or some big event, go out to dinner, there's 20, 30 people, oh. and the bill comes. Oh. oh man. Are you guys a group payer or are you are you an individual bill type of person? Because for me, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, don't try to group me into your fucking bill. Like, don't do that. Because a lot of times, yeah, don't try to group me into your bill. Because I have to pay more. I got to pay more. I don't like that. I want to pay exactly what I paid for. Wow. Get the tip to the waiter and get and get about my business. You're really cheap. I'm not into that. Yeah. You're a cheapskate. I, I buy not $15 worth of food and I got to pay 40 Not at all. Yo, let me ask you. I'm out of here. That's not a cheapskate. Man. Yeah. Because some, you, people be taking advantage. People take advantage of this stuff. Like, Bro. I don't even go. I'm not going. Mm-hmm. Don't invite me. That's a good answer, Phil. That's a good answer. Because at the end of the day, if me personally, if it's my birthday or if it's my wife's birthday and I'm taking and we're going out to dinner, I'm going to pay for everybody right. at that table. Right. I'm paying for everybody who came. Right. Done. What about, yo, what about the dirt bags? Oh, hold on. What about the dirt bag that, that show up and like, oh, y'all y'all not going to chip in for this person? Well, chip in for who? What am I chipping in for? All right. Not so you me. came you came to this dinner with no bread? What are we doing? 
different. Yo, that 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 gang bill. Yeah. I, I'm not with it. I'm, I'm, I'm not confused. with it, bro. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm a little confused. Like, if we all like, I'm not even gonna say if all of us went out. I'm just saying, like, that, bro. If, if, if we if, if we all went out, pod, that's fine. It's an isolated. Uh, well, listen, like, I want you guys to know if we go out, right? I'm if we're at a steakhouse, bro. I'm getting a tomahawk steak. I'm getting a couple of glasses of wine. I'm making buy. Go, I'm making a and, bottle of wine, and then you're gonna get your individual bill and pay for it. Well, listen, even like, if you don't, even if you don't get your individual bill, I know that you're not walking in there ordering all that stuff and saying you're gonna give me fifty dollars. Right. You're gonna you're gonna put your money up Cause exactly because you, you understand but, what you want and you're gonna pay the price that you. I'll, I'll be on, I'll be honest with you, like when or I, when one I go of out us normally, is gonna cop it and then the you bill. just pay us back, right? Like I normally, I either cover the whole bill or I split the bill. But what I'm saying is that if there's thirty people, thing, that's a lot of people. You feel what I'm saying? That that bill is high. Thirty people is the first fucking mistake. Three. Oh, thirty people. Yeah, but it, 30 it happens. Bro. Thirty it people happen is way too much. No, no, but no. my thing is like, if you go out, you're not gonna want to enjoy yourself. Like we're going out to have fun, live a little, order what you order the most expensive thing on the menu if you nah, want. If that's what you right. want. The, I the get first it. Like, but you is, should be ready for that, though. You right. You should be, be ready. You for should that. be ready for that. And and the problem is, is that when you go out on a group dinner, somebody's birthday, whatever the case may be, you end up getting a a burger. And paying seventy dollars for right. paying your, your meal costs for it. your meal costs fourteen ninety five. You end up having to pay sixty dollars plus twenty percent gratuity right. Right. because it was like, over on. six people at the table. That's because, crazy because the birthday person isn't paying. Right, so somebody split, somebody else came up. broke. Somebody else don't have the bread. Well, you paying I'm, for I'm, that? I'm time. I'm sorry. I don't go out with broke people. Like you, I go out. With people I get who are it. Willing well, to spend a little money. So. Just for conversation wise, right. it's that's what we're talking about right. because it, it happens a lot. I don't go out with those happens a lot. Happens a lot. You know what I'm saying? Phil, I'm not going. I'm not inviting Phil, you. How many times not. we went to that certain spot in New York and we ran it up at 3 a.m. in the morning? Right, but we expect to pay money, though. Right. right. Like We obviously expect to pay money. And there's it, only how many of you? It was about good. What? One time it was like, what, solid six or eight. That's not bad. That's, That's not bad. bad. Six or eight That's people not is not bad. But right. we're right. talking about over 10, 10 plus. It gets dicey. Uh, that's a little different. That's like, what I'm saying. It gets bro. dicey. I don't, I don't normally go out with, and split a bill with that many people. There's, but there's a lot of people out there that do. do that. Well, like, it's so, a culture, bro. Like they so go out there and do that. If you go out to eat before you even go, you already know who's gonna who's gonna be that person. So you got in the back of your head, you're like, "Yo, do I invite this person?" But also, too, there's always plus ones. You don't know who's gonna that's show it. up, bro. Well, can, like, I give, uh, can I give you a real? Yeah. Can I give you a real quick scenario? Somebody I know went to someone's birthday party. The birthday girl obviously is not going to pay. Right. I think it was like 12 of them. The birthday girl bought her man. For some reason, the birthday girl's man feels like he don't got to pay either because wow. he's... Wow. He's but not then, the but then, supposed so, to be dropping the so bag. He's right, the one right. who's supposed to be he's dropping the bag. Be, he's the one who's supposed to be paying for everything. Dirt bag, yeah. Right. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> he not just, only he does he feel... cheeks. That's what bro, he wanted. Not only does he feel like he doesn't have to also pay, my homegirl... And her man ended up paying two to three hundred dollars a piece Yo. for, no, for nah. their food. I'm putting hands on him. Right? I'm putting hands on that boyfriend. I ain't Not only that, you. they're short. So everybody's short. They're short on the bill. So they gotta put extra. So they gotta put now extra. This dude who hasn't paid anything is now calling people broke because they can't. The pay audacity. For the oh no, hands and feet. Hands and feet. Real story. Hands and feet on him. That's crazy. That's hands crazy. and feet on him. <laughs> That's crazy. How do you not put hands on him? How he walk out of there and what? Yo. And what he's, like, oh. he's like, I don't know what kind of broke people y'all hang out with the campaign. What? Bro, you didn't pay anything. You personally didn't pay anything. For your chick. Yo, That's for your wow. chick's birthday. Craziness. See, like, I don't go out in those types of large groups. Right. But, like, if I'm going out, let's say the three of us go out with our ladies. We're splitting that bill. Yeah. Fact. We're splitting that bill. Of course. But we know, but like again, it's an it's a it's a controlled environment. You can be able to control that, right? Like right. you understand right. who's involved, who's there. You can be able to deal with that, right? right? But in a situation like that, where there's like fifteen plus, and you don't know who's showing up, oh, I'm getting separate. That right. gang bill ain't for me. Yeah, right. I was I'm in not a situation doing it. like that before. Yeah, we've all been. But, I've, uh, been but, I've, but, I've been in that. But, plenty uh, of times. Well, a lot of times, like depending on where you're going, if you're in a group that size. They're not gonna split your bill. They're gonna put everybody together and oh, charge yeah, the course. gratuity. Of course. Yeah. So you gotta at that point it is. I mean, what they, it is. they they give you the option. Like the the first thing that they're gonna send the bill, right? Mm-hmm. But then you can be able to say, hey, I'd like my own. A lot of places don't do that. A yeah, a lot of places don't, do don't, but a lot of places do. So it, it depends yeah. on the place. 
You know what I mean, like if you get to a place and they don't split bills, I'd be heated. I'll be honest with you, I'm it. not a, I'm not a really bougie, but I like to eat at nice fucking places. I like, yeah. I, I enjoy a nice spread, bro. Right. Like if I go out, I'm getting lobster tail, I'm getting lamb chops, I'm getting tomahawk steaks, I'm getting good food. Yeah, I get you. Where I'm going out, I'm, I, if I'm going out, I'm gonna spend money. Well, right. I ain't gonna lie to you. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of <laughs> that I like to go. <laughs> yeah, understand. A lot, yeah, a lot. Of out there like to go to 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 Peter Luger's run up the bill and 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 it's Peter Luger. You know? <laughs> and take pictures of the fucking right food. right like I don't, listen I don't you look. take pictures of, of your like cuisine like you better that. get ready to facts front that bill I don't like it I don't appreciate that's it different. I don't like it yeah. motherfuckers taking pictures oh I'm about to eat uh, oh check please over here we're um, eating we're eating can good see, can I see the receipt. And you, went to ba- what? and you went in the bathroom. For what? <laughs> Yo, you went in the bathroom. And that's another thing. Like when the rece- like when the when the check comes, if you touch and that- if you tell me, I right, yo, this is how much it is. Yeah, like I don't need to see. I yeah. know I spent money. Right. Right. Yeah, but so, yo, so next Listen, year, man. I'm deciding on what I'm gonna do for my birthday. Be prepared. Be prepared Nothing for what? crazy. Yeah, right. maybe it may be a party. This may be my many my horses. See, you're, no, you're, you're oh, many horses. See, 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 your horse. Some turn up. Your sir. party. Your party doesn't sound like a. It, nah. Is it gonna be? Listen, party? you're gonna enjoy yourself. That's all that matters. Yeah, it's I'm sure. Be big I'm ass sure. titties. <laughs> oh, 150. 150. Hundred and fifty. Hundred and Just know it's gonna be a nice time. Moving on. A lot of broccoli. A lot of. Before we get into sports, I'd like to talk about this because obviously I have to, right? It's funny. Um, what is her name? Carly Russell? Oh, Lord. What's her wow. name? Clear yeah, it up for me. Something Carly Lee Russell or something yeah. like that. What's her name, Phil? Let me Clear it up. Real quick. Right, right. Give me the name. The I, I call her Juicy Smoothie 8 uh, 2.0. Right. Yeah. Right? That's why. Juicy Smoothie 8 2.0. Yo, she is. She took it to another level. Carly Russell. Yep, yeah. You got Carl, she took it to another level. She took it to an absolute other level. She said that somebody kidnapped her, forced her to eat Cheetos, and she was the one that went to Target to go get the food. Like, <laughs> you're yeah. wildin'. I'll be honest what? with you. Like, the you don't po- know the story? I don't know about this. Really? Yeah. Bro, they, they looked into her her Google search history. Who is her? She's Carly a- Russell. She's this, she's this girl who disappeared after she... Uh, she, she, alleged, she allegedly that a babe, called that a child was nine one one saying that she found a child that was by walking himself in the stranded. Street. Yeah, and then for what? And after she decided the parkway, she got out of her car. She said the uh, a child was walking like near the highway or something like that, and she got out of her car and then she disappeared. Her her car was left there. Her phone was left there, and she disappeared for a number of days. Sounds like acid, bro. Her <laughs> search, like in her search history, they found. How, like, what's the age of a child that you could report missing where there won't be an Amber Alert? And this also, and like, too, oh, also, Jesus. too, they caught her on her Twitter years ago said that Taken was her, was her favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> and she also Googled Taken. Yes. Like, duh, bro, it's bad. Like, she took Juicy Smoothie <laughs> and said, but, hold my beer be you, the, and my food. The part that's the worst about it is, is like a lot of like minorities don't get the coverage when they go missing that they actually should. Right. She got and it. She got a lot of coverage, bro. And for you to just be faking a fraud, like yeah. that's, that's crazy. crazy. I, that, that's a lot of people made that point that they said that like, you know, there's a lot of, like you said, there's a lot of missing people out there. And, you know, the fact that this is cap, at least like people took it seriously, but there is a major issue going on that there are missing people that need to be right. found out there. You right. know what I'm saying? But you know, hey, what's just, that Mel Gibson movie? Which one? Think like a man. Not a new one. I don't know. Oh don't yeah, know. I heard where he's gonna like expose in Hollywood with all the pedophilia yeah. and stuff. Fire. Oh yeah, uh, oh, I heard oh, it's man. gonna. Oh yeah, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta watch that word though. You gotta watch yeah, that word. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, girl. but yeah, nah, I, I'm gonna check it out though. But yes, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but but for me, see, I I need to bring the comedy relief to this to this segment because you know we we don't want to get too serious. But like, if I'm her mother. What reaction do you have when you find out that it's Cap? Do you want to put hands and feet on her, or do you do you embrace her and I know, know exactly, that she's crazy? I know exactly what the mother should have said at that moment. Yeah, I know I should have. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay. Wowzers! Yeah, all right. But listen, 
<laughs> but listen, yo, oh, listen. Lord. The coverage that she got was yeah. crazy, bro. <laughs> it was crazy. And then like, like I had. I, there's more people that are sympathetic to her now. It's oh my god, you know she's dealing with this, you know. I'm just like, oh, can we just? I think she just went to get some skins, and she, you know. I mean, I don't know, man. She ain't know how to tell her parents. Well, how old is she? She old, bro. She, old. she wasn't like old. A... She wasn't no young, right. young girl. I think she just wanted to dip off to go get some skins, and you know, she came back walking sideways. Demarius, you told my people where I'm at, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, baby. Make sure you don't tell them nothing, right? I'm yours. He said, "Oh snap! I did. I, I honey, I, I am sorry. I did leave that receipt from from bro. Target at the <laughs> at the scene. Sorry." So his homeboy had the free crib. She was like, "Yo, I can't get away. We gonna figure out a way for me to get away to go to this free crib." And she did what she did. You know, backs were blown out, and she was listen. Back it, this, the, you 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 don't have to be ashamed to get your back blown out now, dude. BBO, you know what I mean. But like, yeah, crazy story. Twenty five, twenty five, right? Okay, so she she's just at the the point of when the brain actually starts to <laughs> separate to to, to you know, the, when it actually starts to like you know mature and and function properly. Like anything before twenty five, you something wrong. With you. Yeah, but yeah, yeah but, you got but, idiot brain. Yeah, but at that at that age, that's when like it starts to get yeah. yeah so wider. I th- so I think she's probably she's probably in the later stages of the idiot brain. Yes, you know what I mean. Like it, it wasn't fully formed yet. Oh yeah, she's a yeah. full blown idiot. Yeah, yeah, she's full blown, yeah. full blown, because she thought that this plan was sound, <laughs> sound plan. And nobody would find they'll it. never know. <laughs> she should nobody. Gotta she should have her search results should have been incognito, bro. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen. God damn stupid. Right. Facts. <laughs> Juicy Smoothie and 2.0, I, I, I have no sympathy for her. Like, I, I don't care what people are saying. Well, you know, pray for her. I, what am I doing? I I'm see, not praying for nobody. I see jail time. There, there's a whole bunch of money that was spent, investigations, right? All this shit. Nah, nah, nah fuck that. Fuck nah, that. if they give jail time, then how much time do they give her? Not jail time. Pulling the crazy out. No, I nah, give a jail time. Jail, no, so for something go like to jail? that, it's a federal yeah. offense. It's yeah. a federal offense. That's just like yeah. Jesse Smollett, but he had right. boys and stuff like that. But how much time do they? Yo, li- listen, they try to make us forget about Juicy. Yeah, I didn't forget. Nobody's ever gonna forget. About him. <laughs> <laughs> He's I, crazy. I never forget. He's done. <laughs> He's finished. Yeah. I mean, he was finished before. A- that, after he put that around him. He was yep. an idiot forever. I mean, that story that he came up with was so. Was he thrown in the garbage can? No, no, he wasn't. It was more than that. In the in the in the show, what did they they spoiled? Oh, oh, in the show, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they threw in the garbage can. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they poured they, going that pill. They poured, they poured a hot sauce and salt all over me. <laughs> bleach and stuff. That like. Shit was wild. <laughs> Yo, what is going on? In the cold, in the cold at that in Chicago. What is going on with people, dude? I don't get That's it. That's why you don't go get subway at night. Facts. I don't understand. Nobody eats that shit late night. I, I don't understand, bro. <sighs> After the break, we're gonna talk Washington Commanders news. They sold finally. Great pickup. Yo, it's your man DJ G Money from that Flip the Script podcast. Yeah, 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 we in the yeah, studio yeah. right now. Flip shut up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 listen. Shout out to the Old Even podcast. My oh, man Barry oh, Grant Jr. Like whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up, whoa, man? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? What you, you, you want to say to the people? Shout out to somebody else's podcast. Yeah, don't make it to join. What's up? Oh, even. Oh, even podcast. Yo, it ain't even up here, boy. <laughs> we put this guy. What's up, man? Oh, even. Yo, you. Oh, my God. What's up with you, man? Now, you got well, that's a shout out. You keeping this? Yeah, keep all that. <laughs> you want to jump all even podcast, right? Yeah, all shout even. Shout out to all even podcast, right? All yeah. even. Uh, That's your man? My man. Alright, shout out to all even podcast. He cool? 100%. He cool. Is he? cool? Let me see. Is he cool? Yeah. Oh. 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 Josh Harris, Magic Johnson are now the owners of the Washington Commanders. I ain't gonna lie to you, it's, it's a beautiful day. Um, first off, we got Dan Snyder the fuck out of here, right? And he got he got a fuck you charge out the door. That he like not only do you gotta sell a team, but you gotta pay the sixty million. <laughs> you gotta pay the sixty million dollars for all the nonsense that you was doing back in the day. You know what I'm saying? 
So shouts to him to be able to get the bag. I mean, listen, he got the bag out the door. So is he really that pressed? Is he upset? Right? Like, so, but the fact that Magic Johnson, I don't, is there another black owner in the NFL? Is he the first? Yes, he's the guy. He got. He's the first. And Spencer, he's him. It's big. Spencer Stratmore from um, Timothy. What movie was that? What show was that? Oh, Ballers. Okay, Ballers. relax. That was so, my shit. so that was it. shouts to Magic Johnson for 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 being the pioneer, man. Like he broke down and really like it. It the emotions, you know, took him over, and it's it's a big deal. It really is a big deal, man. Bigger than him too. Relax. <laughs> so, I just want to say this for every. Dallas Cowboys fan, Giants fan, Eagles fan, we in trouble. We in trouble. Magic Johnson, he said, hey, I want to open up uh, uh, movie theaters. (laughs) Movie theaters is popping. I want to go ahead and franchise Starbucks. (laughs) Trillion dollar business, right? I want to go get my stake into the Dodgers. World Series. I want to go and have do whatever. He's the go to that, right? <laughs> He's the go to that. Can't nobody touch him, right? Nobody, literally, nobody. can't nobody touch him. So what I'm saying is that anything that Magic does, hmm. I'm just saying is we it, in trouble. We in it, trouble. Is it like Magic? Yeah, Damn. we in trouble, bro. Like we in trouble. The co- and also too, there's, there's rumors that. The commander's name, maybe no more. Right? <laughs> so they said they're gonna evaluate it or reevaluate it after the season. What if he changed it to the Johnsons? Hilarious. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't mind if they go back to the football team. Man, that shit was whack. The Washington, Washington football team. The commander team? sucked. The commander sucked too. I never said it was. I mean, I, I'd rather like, the football team. I like the football team. All the good names got uh, taken by that dude with Bro, I just go here. back to the Redskins. Like, Relax. come on. Come on. Yeah, I would call them the Washington Stars and Stripes. Washington Sentinels? <laughs> Sentinels is bad ass. That's what mattered, though. Yeah. I used to pick them. That was it's hard. Parents. Washington Isn't Presidents? That, I call them Washington the Johnson. Replacements? Yeah. Washington, no, wa- wa- the Washington Monuments. I think it is a replacement. It's a replacement. There you go. Yeah. Fire. Monuments. That's fire. Nah, fire. That's fire. Yeah. Fire. Yo, better go. Okay. Yo, listen, that. give me that pub. I, yo, I need that yeah, pub. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'll be right there. Yeah. You call date that, please. NDA. I NDA. NDA. I need that pub. That was good. But yeah, so shouts to them, man. Like, you know, I, I think it's a it's a, obviously it's a it's a it's a brand new day if you're a commanders fan, if you're a Washington football, whatever you want to call it. Like, they've never had any peace in the last de- in the last two decades. Yeah, like Dan cool. Snyder has been the worst owner in North American sports history. I don't think there's anybody worse. Okay, let's, let's think about it. Um, they do for the Clippers. Because you can't put James Dolan in there. James Dolan's not as bad. Uh, he's very close. Yeah, I, I get it, but he's not He's not, He's not. not Dan Snyder bad. He's worse than Sterling, right? He's definitely worse than Sterling. Who owns the... all Sterling uh, said it was, I, I don't want them up the game. <laughs> who, owns, who owns the Blazers? Blazers are not a bad organization. Just stop it. They don't win, but they're not bad. They treat their people good. They don't harass people. Next suck. I get it. But it not bad. Dance nobody comes close to Dan Snyder. <laughs> no one. No one. So, you know, shouts to them. Um Yeah, anybody else got anything to say? Positive, negative? <laughs> no? Shout the magic, man. Let me get one. Give me that magic. Great. Oh, good pickup. <laughs> yeah, you were very slow on that. I didn't today. pick like, I, I didn't know you talking about. I thought yeah. it was weird. I was looking at everything. Yeah. Moving on, moving on. <laughs> slow claw play. Can't can't get it done. Right. Cold slow. He's got cold slow. That was a bar. Cold cold that was bad. fire. Be- better than cold sore. I'd say that much. <laughs> oh. That's what you don't want. That's what you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I want apologies around the room. I told y'all Saquon wasn't getting the money. I told you. Yo, it was 500. You came in here, oh, less than 3 million, 28. Uh, you talking about he going, how much you said, 50? What? I ain't saying nothing about no 50. What you said? 11. 11 a year? Yeah. Still too high. 11, 5, okay. I said. Still too they high. They could have did that. They just. They ain't getting nothing. If I'm the Giants, I, don't, I, I wouldn't pay him nothing new, too. Why not? 
analytics say, why have one when you can have three? This is why the running back position is depreciated. This happened way back. You want you want to know who you should blame for this? Drew Brees and Sean Payton. Blame them. Because Drew Brees made it cool to throw for 5,000 yards a season. Before Drew Brees made it cool, nobody was doing it. Drew Brees has more 5,000-yard passing seasons than anybody in NFL history. Sean Payton had the dual back system. That's where it started. So now teams are like, oh, well, that works. They want a Super Bowl. And what is the league? What is any league? If it works, it's a copycat league. Thanks. Once you start putting analytics into sports, which they've done, analytics is going to spit out the information. Hey, why are you going to pay a running back $15 million when you can go get three or four of them in a draft and let them compete for two spots? Hmm. So now you want the market to go backwards? How? You want more innovative coaches in the NFL, more offense. You want more brain power. You want more younger guys that are innovating and are changing the game. Where do you think the game is going? The NFL is looking more like arena than it actually is what we grew up on. Nobody cares about running backs getting 150 yards anymore, unless you're playing fantasy. They care about quarterbacks throwing for 400 yards. Look how hard it is for a running back to win an MVP. He literally has to rush for 2,000 yards, has to have maybe over 3,000 purpose yards, have 20 plus touchdowns to even be considered for the award. They've already told you that the position means very little in the grand scheme of things by how they vote it. When we grew up, how many running backs won MVPs? A lot. It was running it was a running back league. Running backs dominated football. You couldn't win a Super Bowl without a running game. You couldn't win a Super Bowl without a dominant number one. Name me the last dominant running back in the last decade that has won a Super Bowl. Here's your answer. Could have been. Zero. Could have been Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. Could have been. If but, he was giving the ball. But Pete Carroll said. <laughs> and, it, and it would have been. Yeah, of course. I agree. His, but his totally fucked brain this. kicked in. Totally fucked. So that's what I'm saying is that I feel bad for Saquon, but there is no, there is no like horizon or sunrise or whatever it is. Like this is what it is. And for him to feel like he has to hold out, it's not beneficial to running backs. You hold out and you sit out a year, what are you doing? You're costing yourself a year of eligibility to play. Running backs don't have that long to play anyway. So why would you do that? You saw what happened to Le'Veon Bell. Mm -hmm. Le'Veon Bell, when he got to the Jets, he was done. He was done. I feel like he was in a bad system, though. He was done, bro. Like, you can just tell by his running style, he was done. He was done. You know it's crazy, though? Because, like, growing up, watching football, like, even, like, playing PB football or whatever, everyone wanted to be a running back. A running back, back. yeah. Everyone. That was the shit. position. That was the... I mean, listen, we had Jeremiah Pope right there, right? Like, yep. running back was the position. Right. You wear 32... You in the, like you a bad man when you wear that, Remember right? J Jamal Anderson, Jamal Anderson, mm -hmm. you know Terrell Davis. Like there was so many the the bus. Like there's so many great running backs that we've saw. Emmitt Smith. The list the list goes on. Barry Spike. Like, we saw so many great running backs because that was the running back era. We're not in that era anymore. And guys like Saquon are dinosaurs. It's sad, but it's the facts. But it the grand scheme of things, it's a trend. Yeah. Everything but, is a trend. Right. So it's like, a trend. It's going to change again. Trust but me. what has to change is that they have to show trust. Right? Right now, the league doesn't trust running backs. 
So if they don't trust you, they're going to get more of you, right? They trust you, then that's when the money comes, right? Because think about it. Every single running back that has gotten the bag has fumbled it some way or the other, whether it's injury, whether it's poor play, whether it's off the field issues. So why should teams say, hey, that, I want that. <laughs> Give me $18 million a year. We want that. You have to show that guys are going to be durable, that you're not going to screw up off the field because there's less of you to make that case, right? You know, it's- wide receivers, there's a whole bunch of wide receivers. So you can have a whole bunch of knuckleheads that do things because the wide receiver position is always going to be premier. It's still sort of like a slap in the face, though, because it is the running back endures a lot. Absolutely, it's the it's the wow. workhorse position. It right. is, but He's, he relies on the O line more than anybody else outside of the yeah. quarterback, of course. But it relies on those blocks downfield to mm-hmm. get through. What I would say, though, I feel like it's going to take um, running backs to be more Swiss Army knives. Well, they're who, already Swiss Army. But I'm saying, right. but who's who's the dude from what's the name? Um, he was on San Fran, supposed to get the deal. Forgot, I'm forgetting his name right now. San Fran, Wait, Rick last Hafferty? year. Last year, not not before that. Um, you talking about the wide receiver, Debo? Debo, exactly. Like someone like Debo that can do both. It's kind of what you're gonna to have to be. Yeah, but that, but that, but bag. running backs do do that already. But I'm saying like, like they're they're dual backs. Saquon is a is a dual back. That's what I'm saying, back. right? Like he did. the problem with runs that, the ball, yeah. catches the ball. He'll take like he'll take snaps. And, right. And, the the problem like, that Saquon is running into, and a lot of backs that are like Saquon, is the durability problem. Is that you're good, but we don't have you for that many games. Right. So how can I pay you? $20 million a year if you're only going to be here eight games. I'm not getting any bang for my money. I'm not doing that. I'd rather give it to Daniel Jones. I'd give the $40 million to Daniel Jones. You know why? That's because crazy. he can't touch quarterbacks. All right. True. Can't touch him. He's going to have more opportunity to live up to his contract than you are. That's the problem. So for running backs, they're going to have to show some consistency on and off the field. And they have to show some attrition. They are going to probably have to work through a lot of injuries that they don't want to work through just to show that they can be reliable. That's the problem. And how can you do that? If you're hurt and you're not really reliable, then your production is a problem. It's a slippery slope. It's not an easy fix. It really isn't. But I will tell you this. The biggest mistake that he can make is sitting out. Sign a tag. Get your money for that year. And if the Giants don't want to give you the money... Go somewhere else and see if you can get paid. Hmm. He has no contract at this point. He, he, he has just, no contract. To the wow. commanders. So they, they can't find him. They can't oh. find him to go to camp. He has no contract. So he doesn't have to play, basically. No. So that means I would do it. Imagine magic. You would do what? Money. I would sit out. But magic, you're not. Magic about but, to give him that magic. But Claw, you're Who just did back. that like two years ago? What was the, what Even Melvin Gordon did that and didn't work for him. What about Melvin Gordon? He just got shorts, right? Yes. Every, 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 run, excuse me, every running back right now is getting shorts. Everyone. I would, I don't know. I Everyone. Don't think... You can't, it, as a running back, you have to just take what's there. Hope for the best that the market changes, but you can't walk away from $11 million. And then a team can't ask for, try to get him more. He's not a free agent. He's still under contract. What are you talking about? This year, Saquon. He ha- he's, not a, he's not an active player right now. So somebody can scoop him up? No. No, got it. That's the thing. His his option is to sit out or sign the tag. And Josh Jacobs the same thing. Yeah. So ultimately, you got to get out there, perform, and earn the trust again. Yeah, show your show yeah. your worth. Earn the trust again. That it's it's tough, but moving on, moving on. Uh, I guess we can be able to put Mister Melvin Gordon in this talk too. He signed with the Ravens. Uh, I don't know what the contract is. It's shorts, but. Do you think that he has anything left? Because he, I think he played fairly well for the Broncos. You know, for the, I think was he was there for like a year and a half. Played well for them. And, you know, now they have, what was his name? Uh, Jav- Javante Williams. Yeah. Um, so, I think he can carve out a role on this team. Without a doubt. New offense. Um, they have, uh, what, what's the, um, what's the running back's name over there? His name is, uh, goodness, I can't remember. But yeah, he could, they, they can have a nice one. J.K. Dobbins. Yeah, J.K. Dobbins. Gus Thank Edwards you. And Justice Hill. Yeah, J.K. J.K. Dobbins is the number one. So yeah. he can he can fill a role there because Melvin Gordon does have some 
catchability. So I think I th- I think the Ravens offense, even minus Melvin Gordon, is gonna be really good. He, um, I think he so. He got three point one. Doesn't necessarily mean extremely likely that he'll earn that total sum. Okay, so the full the full length of the contract is three point one, but he Give might not take, get that. Yeah. It's probably incentive based. But, but in that system, I feel like. The running back is necessary, but not really because Omar does a lot of the running. Well, I think I think this year you're going to see a different type of – it's a different Omar. offense. Yeah, offensive yeah. corner, they got Todd Munkin now. Who, he's a he's a he's he's an interesting guy. Like his offense is very, very dynamic. So you're going to see Lamar throw a lot more. So maybe they yeah. will rely well, more he, on the back. He has the targets. Down. Yeah. He still and, got Hollywood, right? No. They got all the up in Hollywood. What's wrong with you, bro? Tweaky. <laughs> Tweaky. Coming, yeah. He's on Arizona. Arizona, yeah, yeah. They still have a quarterback. They got August though. They got, yeah. they, got they got Odell, right? Yes, oh, they Odell. got Odell. Um, still got Mark uh, Andrews. What's your McCall? Did you hear about their rookie? Got cited. The 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 wide receiver. Uh, Addison. Addison, yeah, yeah. Minnesota. Yeah, Addison got got cited. He was doing like one oh six. Yo, what's wrong with these dudes, bro? 106 and a 55 in like, Minnesota. what are you doing? Wow. What are you doing? There's no reason they, to draw that fast they, out there. Unless you got to use the bathroom. Somebody the Jaguars, too, they just get in trouble man. for, like, domestic. Yeah, somebody just got jammed up on the domestic Jaguars. Domestic abuse or something yeah. like that on the Jags? DV, DV, DV. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, DV. Um, I mean, it's always something with these dudes, right? It's always something. Unfortunately. Like, we already talked about this. Like, what, you, you get a bag. Like, what are you driving for? I'm going to pay somebody to drive me. I'm not driving. Yeah. I got other stuff to worry about. I'm going to hire my man. Yo, I'm going to put you on payroll. 100000 a year. Just drive me around. It's racist. Huh? It's racist. That's what Banks said earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah. Inside joke. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Moving on. Draymond. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. Draymond is starting Yo, to become it's hilarious. Probably, I'm starting to like Draymond a little bit. I am because anybody that throws shade at Chris Paul is <laughs> anybody that throws shade at Chris Paul is always gonna be very near and dear to my heart. You know, him. He said that him and Chris Paul don't really have a relationship. They're gonna be teammates. They're gonna figure it out. You know, but the Jordan Poole situation that to me is. A little bit more interesting because let's talk about it from a an anecdotal standpoint. You have a coworker or somebody that continues to needle you, right? At some point, it gets to a crescendo where something has to happen, right? D- does anybody, would anybody do what Draymond did? It depends on the type of situation you're in, because Draymond's in a position where he could do what he did, right, and, and still, not lose his and job. Not lose his job. Yeah, me. There's a lot of people I want to do that too. Fact, but that's a good point. That's a good point. Claw, thoughts? I mean, hey. don't talk about my kids. Maybe don't have those problems. I wonder what he actually said to Draymond though. But then the father came out. Yeah, I heard about that. The father came out. He, I think he took the IG or Twitter and was talking nonsense about Draymond. Talking about, yo, you see me? Like, come on, dude. I, I just knocked your son out. What do you think I'm going to do to your old <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm, What do you think I'm going to do to your old ass? Right? I, I washed up yeah. your son. That was like Debo. And and you you want right. to say to your old exactly. man? Exactly. No. Nope. Exactly. Because, because, <laughs> because let's, let's talk about it from a comedic standpoint, right? You probably told him... <laughs> You probably right. told him how to fight. So I'm going to wash you up now. Because if that if that's what your end product is, this is going to be easy. It's easy work. Then, then I saw some. There was a post out there that Jordan Poole in the lab. He boxing now. Oh, God. Come on. Hey, yo, his form looked crazy. Like, what is wrong with these basketball is it worse players? Worse than AD? Nah. Yeah, AD shit. Nah. Yeah. It ain't worse. But his. Like he pigeon toed with his feet, and I'm just like, well, what are you? Where's the, where's the power coming from, bro? Like, I understand why Draymond laid you out there, cause you was probably pigeon toed, le- leaning over, unbalanced, and he just came and just, just, just knocked your ass over, you know? So show you something. 
it's just the, to me, it, it, you know, everybody's like, oh, it's unnecessary. Like I saw Chris Haynes, he went to his, he went to his IG and was like, oh, well, you know, people need to stop talking about this because, you know, if it gets serious, you know, we're going to be responsible. Serious in regards to how. Right. When we talking about basketball players, well, taking it to the street, well, they're going to they gonna start shooting each other up. When has that ever happened? Sounds crazy. Yeah, John Moran didn't even do that shit. When has that ever happened? Like, what are we talking about? Like, what society are we in nowadays? Where people can't get knocked out no more, nobody can get hit? Right. Now we, we have to talk about something extra? But yes. I don't think Jordan Poole wants any smoke. No, he doesn't. He does not. He really got to know. Well, yo, who wants to fight a powerful <laughs> bro? At the end of the day, like, do I really want to square over Draymond? No, no. Facts. If I really, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Do I really want to do that on my to do list on with Thursday afternoon at three o'clock? Because right. because Draymond out there looking for. And a fight, he got that right? Austria. Yeah, like, like, don't want it. It's one. Nah. Th- it's one thing. It's one thing to defend yourself, right? But, but it's one thing. Dark to, side strength. It's one thing to pick a fight with somebody who won. <laughs> Who's looking for a fight? Right, right. right. like you know what I mean, <laughs> like yo, you like, could, you could play an attack on somebody. Yeah, like, like, you know uh, what? He's with the smoke. I'm a catch right. and slip, and I'm gonna hit him with a rock. Like, right, cool. But mm, the you square around ginger with somebody who's ready to fight mm-hmm. that wants to War, fight. Wakes no up, what? Wakes up with that on his mind. Nah, nah. Nah. M- miss me, bro. Yeah. Somebody gonna try me today. Sure. Draymond may have to. may see him on the court and just pop off. Yeah, yeah listen, listen. You know that dark side strength is different. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind seeing that. <laughs> Wash him up again. Right. <laughs> Wash him up again. Again. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I can see if if pulls about it, and he was really on that type of time, and he was in the market like New York, he would have hit a layup or something on him. Like, what's up now, pussy? Like. <laughs> <laughs> But he's not that guy. Oh my no, goodness! New York would have did that to him. New York would have had him talking nah, shit. Nah, but yeah, but New York, crazy. but New York also would have probably put a battery in his back, and he probably got washed up even worse. Nah, nah, we would have jumped. Nah, 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 we would have jumped him straight up. You know yeah. what? You know what time it is? He would have never made it out of the bing boom. It was over. <laughs> yeah. Bro, why are you even talking about New York? Right, relax. Wow, relax. Don't do that. We 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 have a New York topic that we got to talk about, but relax. All right, <laughs> after the break, my bad, Chloe. We had we didn't get to it. Jets watch. At the break. Yo, this is Sugar Jensen and Gals. I want to give a shout out to my boy Barry for all even podcast. Keep doing your thing, bro. Killing it. Jets watch. What's up? Go ahead. Hey, man. So, everybody clap your hands one time. Come on, clap it up. You guys are terrible. Yeah. I don't know what I'm clapping yeah. for. I'm sorry. Yeah. You got a lot of Jet hating here. Hey, sorry. listen, listen. Off seasons officially beginning as far as you know us getting back into work. Camp has started. Guys are showing up to get these workouts in. Everything's looking around Aaron Rodgers. And you know what it's looking like? Beautiful. I'm talking about the momentum's in the building. Guys Speaking to the mic, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah. The momentum's in the building. Everybody's showing up to play. Everybody has this little giddy giddy look to them shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how like your man got like the patty and you about to get her friend? It's that type of energy going around the building. I, I mean, for what for what they're saying, Robert Sala, they said that he's not worried about there's no pressure. He uh, said, you know, pressure is having seven kids and blah, blah, blah. And he, he ain't worried about it. And got that. Out, but dude. the thing is, too, yeah, he is. Um, Aaron Rodgers is giving signals that this ain't just going to be one year. You know, he may be back next Yo, year, and can, then he may be back for an extended period of time. Hold on. Well. He can, had that can you, can you take your glasses office. off and just look at me real quick or no? No. All right, thanks. Glasses well, off. anyway, look at it. I'm happy about that. And So, yeah. I, I mean, listen. The target is on the Jets' back, right? Everybody believes that whether... I don't know if they're going to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl, but they're going to be one of the teams that you have to talk about, right? Like... You still have to say the Chiefs are still the mm-hmm. the favorites to get back to the Super Bowl. Bills, uh, Bengals, Ravens are now there, right? Um, is anybody talking about the Browns? Are they the Browns need to talk thing? about the Browns. They're not talking. About, that's what's upsetting. What about the Dolphins? You can talk about the Dolphins yeah. too. The Dolphins always found a way to get in. I feel like the Dolphins eternally could potentially turn into something else. But the Browns is the team to talk about. When it comes to the AFC and nobody is. And everybody's two hand twisting the 
the Ravens, and hey, that's great. But that's not going to be what it's going to be. I'm I, telling you. I, I think, think the Browns are going to smoke a lot of people. I think the Ravens are come dynamic. week eight. I no, think. The, I think the Browns are going to do the same thing. All right. This season is last season. They got to start rebuilding. Like, bro, they got pieces. Though, they don't have enough though. Yeah, I don't think they have enough at wide receiver. Right. I don't. I think. I think. That, I mean, listen. We we're going to have to see. Like they have Deshaun Watson. Hopefully, we can see the Deshaun Watson of old where. He can literally carry a team, right? So we'll see, but it, it, it's it's going to be interesting. But back to the Jets, I mean, what is the what is the weakness you think coming into camp is for the Jets right now? In your opinion, back. running back is definitely weak, but I feel like they're going to do the Dalvin Cook deal. I think there's the thing that's taking long is there's contract stuff what they're going to try to figure out. Yeah, because he's twenty eight. Is like how much you yeah, give him? At this I point? think we're going to end up doing either a one or two piece with him. Worth like twenty four, or maybe not twenty four. That's a lot. That's a lot. But I, around that time, I think it's gonna be around that twenty. Let's see, realistically, twenty two. Cook, Cook, they're gonna do it. I think so because they, they. Here's the thing. Not that much. They're gonna. I feel like they maybe not that much, but I think they're gonna do it. They're trying to finesse it, get it closer to the season to where it's like a deal you got to take because um, Brees Hall coming back. You don't want to put pressure on Brees Hall. To have to, you want to ease him in. You want to ease him in. What better way to get a guy that's like, hey, look, I already played against Aaron. I already know what that's like. I want a guy like this. I want to win now. The Miami thing didn't work out. That was already the Sherline shot. D hops off the table. D hop is already in the Titans right now. So that's a wrap. We're not worried about that anymore. I think we're gonna go this route because that's the missing link. Yeah, I think I think if the Jets are thinking about Aaron Rodgers' contract, how much time he has left. You got to go all in. Have to. Balls to the wall. His, his contract, he's still owed money right now. Right? Over, $100, over $100 million. Over, right. He's going to get every dollar. Yeah, he's going to get every penny. Whether and they got to the f- they gotta give him some bags under the table. The fact, yeah. the fact that he's not pressing it's for it, yeah. Yeah. that's Actually. the part. Like The fact that he's not pressing for it says a lot. Yeah, the agreement's already there. I mean, he's not going to be pressed for it. He, he's, he knows he's going to get his money. Yeah. But, I mean, going back to his point, I think Dalvin Cook, whether you want to give him, I think... I think Claw's right. I think they might not be comfortable giving him any more than two. They might be more comfortable giving him like a front loaded, fully guaranteed Boom. one mm-hmm. more than anything else. And that's right? why I say a heavy, a heavy, like it looks heavy on the two, but it's really a heavy loaded one. Yeah. Just to get him rocked out because all we need right now is to him fill that void to have Brees Hall roll out and have, then more, have more depth of the position. Exactly. And then eventually scale that's back. It's going to be a void for a little bit, though. Uh, Brees, Brees had it last Turn the mic year. a little bit. Yeah, I think that's going to be a void for a little bit, you mm-hmm. know, with the Jets. Like, understanding, like, the Brees situation, but still, like, and then you got to go out and pay another running back to do a job this season. They don't really, so the money seems like they have it. They don't really have it. Like, this after this season, they're going to be tight. Well, sure that, well, that's right. what I'm saying. It's it's them going all in. They don't care about next year. They'll worry about next year, next, next year. year. Yeah, you know sure. what I mean, if you can get to the Super Bowl. The Jets get to the Super Bowl for the first time since they won it. That does everything for the. That's franchise. exactly that. That's going to catapult you into another stratosphere in regards to marketing and a whole bunch of other stuff. In so, this market, especially, with, yeah, is going to skyrocket. With, with all this hypothetical speaking, do you really think they're going to make the Super Bowl? It's possible. I don't. I, don't I love yo. I ain't gonna hold you. Can I get a moment of silence for every time that Barry Grant was a Jets fan before Geno Smith, and we used to just wait for that moment and fingers crossed and <laughs> pray. You know what I mean, the football. Don't gods. you wish you would have came back to the Jets? Back. And for the <laughs> hit, never hit that man say Not that one day. Had backwards and his wrestling t-shirt. <laughs> His Lakers show like yo, it, it feels. I mean, I'm a, I'm a I'm a realist. I'm not a hater. Like they have a they have one of the best defenses in football. Hmm. You have they one do. of the best quarterbacks in football. Hmm. You have one of the best uh you know defensive lines in football. They just hmm. signed Quinnen Williams. They got the one of the best corners in football. Hmm. They got one of the best wide receivers, young wide receivers in the game. Hmm. There's a lot to like. You know what I'm saying. Can't. Can they put it together? Is Robert still, Sala going to be the coach to be able to put everything together? Still so got a lot of, who knows? Still, it's amazing. Still yeah. a lot of competition but out I hear, there. Right. So it's somebody, lot. who's doing this offense for them? Who's their offensive coordinator? The dude that was the head coach in the Broncos. 
who is Nathaniel Aaron, Hackett, which he's a genius. He's a but he's, he's an Aaron Rodgers guy, and that's his man. Hmm. We're gonna see how this goes. Well, I see the defense working, but I, mean, I don't bro, really you, see the offense. You are, you a Forty Niners fan? You have I a quarterback? Am. Niners to the death of me. Do you have a quarterback? Stop. Oh, okay, cool. Do you do Christian you have a quarterback? Christian we, we, McCaffrey, cool. <laughs> right? That's a quarterback. Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey. Do you guys have a quarterback? Oh yeah, we do. Yeah. Blake Bortles. <laughs> don't say that. No, that's our quarterback. He's the quarterback. He's better than any other quarterback that y'all got right now. No, <sighs> Cal Rip. Cut it out. Who Please. do you have as quarterback? Yeah, who we you got, have? We got a QB. Watch it's a question. Who is it? There's nothing to talk about right now. Who I, is the I, quarterback? I talk my team plays. Y'all got the jet scraps. You know that. Listen. Y'all got Sam Darnold. That's your quarterback. <laughs> that him. But yo, that guy. Listen, Mono guy. We got is better than Dak. Mr. Mono. Plain and simple. Mr. Mono. Whoever we have is Not way better than Dak. Mono. Right. <laughs> now look real quick though. Being that we was talking about, you know, on numbers how it looks. The Madden scores for the Jets are out. So how how many 90s do the Jets have? The Jets. All right. So we got two 90s, 93s. We got Sauce and we got Quinn and Williams. So you only got two 90s on the whole team? Why don't you just back off, Armando? Let me just say what I'm talking (laughs) about. Aaron Rodgers is probably like 89. Chill out. Aaron Rodgers is at 86. CJ Mosley is at 85. Gary Wilson is at 84. DJ Reed's at 83. John Franklin Myers at 83. Brees Hall is at 82. That's a little low, though. Aaron Rodgers, 86? Carl, Carl Lawson's I mean, uh, 80. Uh, Elijah Vera Tucker is uh, 79. Miko Harmon, 79. Lazard, 78. Brees Hall. Uh, Bryce Hall, I'm sorry. Is uh, 78. No, it's Brees. Davis. No, it's somebody else. Another oh, one. Bryce Hall, the defensive yeah. guy? Yes, sir. Um, CJ Umoza, Uzoma. Uzoma. 76. Zerline, 76. Randall Cobb. Is a jet. It just makes me happy. Seventy six, Makai Becton, seventy five. Michael. How Carter. is how is Randall Cobb still in the seventies? Hey, listen, I'll take it. Like right? Sixty two. And hell. then the lowest on the Jets is uh, Thomas Hennessy. He's at thirty. But you know what? I don't even know what position he plays. He's probably never going to play. But listen, it looks good on paper. I'm happy about it. Go find a quarterback and then go fly a kite. I hope he <laughs> play you this year because I'm spitting on the grass. You know what? You, you know what? I hate. When teams that have sucked for so long finally start getting together and their fans come out of the bushes, you know, yeah. out of the like out of the mountains from hibernating and they're just, oh, yeah, we're going to take it this year. And like Nick fans. Yeah. Yeah. Come out of the, oh, yeah. the bushes. Oh. Like wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we, those type of fans, <laughs> we always have pride every year. We're not coming out of the woodwork. No, I, you do have pride over here, but it's delusional pride. Right. Facts. It doesn't come out. It's not. Look, or you're not coming out of the woodwork. It's not. We didn't well, listen, say. You, we you, didn't say any. Look, or you didn't say anything <laughs> last year or the year before you, that. You are not. You that. are not a we're crazy vocal, fan. Vocal, but vocal, I vocal agree. Year. I do agree with Fang is that there is a portion of the fan base that have idiot brain. Next fan. Right. Like they they tend to assign somebody, and then all of a sudden. They get into the finals. Right. They get tattoos of themselves or things on on their hands and stuff. With the year on, yeah, I don't understand what's going on. Like, relax, relax. That's all we say. That's all we say. He had Rogers tattooed on his back, bro. That, that, there's a there's an Aaron Rodgers tattoo on somebody's back. We know we one hundred percent. We ain't talking about claw, but somebody got it. Somebody's gonna reveal it. The Jets. If the Jets go seven and one in the first eight games, we're going to the Super Bowl. Right, right on the tank. It's crazy. Right. They just they can't help themselves. <laughs> right can't help themselves. They're gonna get the stamp. Yeah. Yep. Moving on. Moving on. What was I gonna talk about? I, I just drew a blank. Hmm. Um it was about football. Yeah, um Madden. there's too many ninety nines. Yeah. Like what are they doing? Yeah, they just giving them out now. They just they giving them out now. Anything. It's like five mics in the source. It's like you know what I mean? Like the best of lists. Bro, the Chiefs got two 99s on one team. With Travis Kelsey and uh, Kelsey and Mahomes. I mean, this well, I mean, but that's, that's yeah, corny though. But that's, that's like low key accurate. It is. Is Kelsey really a 99? Hell yeah. Yes. With Mahomes? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Is it? With Mahomes? Yeah. Yeah. Am I hate right now? Yes. 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 I told yes. you. They would have had three if, if, if the Cheetos were still there. <laughs> Bro, mean, facts. That space is getting real wide back there. I'm hating. Yeah. It's not yeah. space. I'm just, I'm, I'm just asking. Nah, you hate like, you hate I, I, Listen. Together? There's, there's together? There's plenty yeah. of 2K games where I didn't see Bro on 99. Right? Playing 2K games where he had 97. Yeah. He had 97 for like four years straight. So I can give Kelsey the 97. 
Give Patrick Mahomes the 99, give Kelsey the 97. That's fair. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's, that's don't fair. don't okay. give him no 99. Aaron Donald is still a 99. A- Aaron Donald's the best defensive player in the game. I get that. That makes sense. Yeah, not for nothing. He's that makes sense. He has the most 99 the best seasons tight end in, in the game. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Nah, that's it is. your man. Still not going to give him a 99, though. No. You get the 98 and 97. No, nah, you, you just hate so him how right they now. do it is. I'm pretty sure there's only one 99 in the game tight end, and that's him. Right. After that will probably be the 96s and 96s. Justin Jefferson, Pat Mahomes, uh, Cowboys O-line, Zach Martin. That's three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, who else is out here? Let's see. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah, so, you know. I, with Zach Martin? Like, he wants the bag right we're, now. We're, we're going to segue into that. Thank you. Zach Martin is thinking about holding out for the Cowboys. That he said that his contract is severely he's underpaid. He should. He's making like seven million dollars under the, the the average. And listen, I can't blame him. Right. He's the one of the best off. He is the. They said that he's the number one offensive lineman in the game, so he should get paid like one. Come on. But oh, come Jerry gonna take care of him. Number yeah. one offensive lineman plays for the Niners. Cut it out. Come on. Cut it out. You say I'm delusional. Can we can we mute? No, nah, he's really delusional. Can, can we mute his he mic? Your, your lineman is true. I can. Can you just turn that yeah, down? I, can. I need put my goon up there. Trent Williams, cut it up, man. Cut up. Cut Who? The crap. Nicole, uh, put the crickets right here. <laughs> right, right. Y'all can hate all y'all want. Even Trent Williams, as good as he is, couldn't save your quarterback. <laughs> 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 All of them. All, last of, year, them, right? all, all of them. Of them. That's all I'm Everybody saying. Everybody died right? last year. At least our quarterback was still playing. He looked terrible, Listen. but at least he was able to finish the game. Listen. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. My mm-hmm. money is ready for this season. Yeah. But what are your thoughts? You think that Jerry will pay him? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. But there's a lot of other guys that need up. to get paid. Yes. CD Lamb, you know, uh, what uh, Trayvon Diggs? Yeah. They gonna go find it's somebody tough. at the big house like they know when they do. Yeah. Facts. They don't make a difference. Replacement. Yeah, Jerry. Jerry, yeah. Jerry gonna find a bag somewhere. Yeah. Oh, he gonna doubt. find a bag somewhere. Netflix money. He yep. Right, right back. To the yeah. There you go. He that's, give him that that's fifty million. He give him that fifty million. He's in tax. You know what? That's I a good point. I got exhaust that already. That's a good point. He's like, listen, if that's you can just, for. if you could just throw fifty million dollars under the table, I need to pay my offensive lineman, please. So just get, <laughs> just give, make sure you give me the fifty, so I can just give him the bag downstairs and we can just be fine right so you know jerry gonna take care of him i, I have look, jerry always takes care of his players i ain't gotta oh, worry right about now that. they got this money in the high interest stock yeah yeah it's gonna flip one you know two I mean? three and everybody gonna get Facts. what they need Facts. We good. you know what i mean i ain't worried about I, zach Maul, you gonna get your money don't I worry i hope y'all have a bernie made off of y'all don't organization. do that don't do that don't do that bankroll the hell right? out of your jerry, shit <laughs> yeah. jerry jerry money long all right jerry money long you ain't gotta worry about jerry Jerry gonna take care. Zach, don't worry about it. You don't have to hold out. Go go upstairs and go talk to Jerry. Don't talk to don't talk to the other one. Don't don't talk to the son. He he's he got the idiot brain. Right. Talk to Jerry. Jerry Jerry hook you up. Jerry hook you up. Um. Uh, what you call it? Um, Jimmy Butler. Yes, thank you. Jimmy Butler said some interesting things. It wasn't really controversial, but he did say that. He won't play for another team for his career. This is it. Miami, this is it. This is it for him. So whether they win or not, this is it for Jimmy Butler. He also said that the Heat will win a title this year. He guarantees it. Wow. Is he willing to take bets on this? Also, too, you got to remember, the man is dating Shakira. He's up right now. Oh, She's dating Shakira. Yeah, yeah. Shakira's. Ain't she locked up? Ain't she jammed up? For no, like, she's she's good. She beat that. Yeah, she's yeah. good. Shakira, Shakira. Good. I just want to know what was the name of the drug he started taking, and well, you gotta remember, this is a guy that wears weaves and doesn't care what he looks like, right? right? So he can say he's, whatever he, he yeah, wants. So he can't basically he can't leave Miami. That's what this is about. Right. Like he can't leave Miami. The, the 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 guys in charge over there said, "Yo, fam." Don't even think about it. But let's <laughs> but let's dissect what he said. Win a title. Do we see Miami as a title contender next season? No. Even with Dame. Say the trade does go down. No. Where does Miami fall in your status or rankings in the Eastern Conference or in the NBA per se? They may make the Eastern if Conference. If they get finals. Dame, I think so. Conference finals? If, if they get Dame? Yeah, they may make the finals. Are they better than Boston? Yeah. 
I would I would say so. Are they better than Philly? That's their contender. Are they better than the Bucks? I feel yeah. like you're gonna yeah. get a different Bucks this year. The Bucks fell off. I mean, nah, they ain't full nah, up. Nah, the Bucks are gonna they come back. They didn't get they a different Bucks this year. Yeah. I you, mean, you're gonna they, you're they, gonna see them back to yeah. They're going to. You it, think yeah. so? Yeah. Yeah, you think Yanis is gonna turn up? Yeah, I think so. But I mean, let's keep it real though. Like he's saying that, but they were at AFC this year. I was gonna right. say like, what's, like why what's were we the acting difference? like they were God? Like they weren't God, right? Shit. Like they actually supplies a lot of people, and they put it together when it mattered. That's, that's, that's all that matters. That's, that's also a good point. So look that any team that does that can go. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. but it doesn't make you. I, I can make these predictions. Like you can't make these predictions yet. Like you still got to prove yourself. I, I I think I think he you know the the comments didn't really get a lot of flack or smoke because. Jimmy's that guy, right? Yeah. In regards to playoff, Jimmy's a real thing. So, like, mm-hmm. if he's talking about we going to get to the chip, he will throw everything at it right. to get his team to the finals. Like, since he's been in Miami, he's been in Miami, what, four years? They've gone to two NBA finals. Right. So, this is a guy that wasn't really supposed to be here as a star player in his career. Nobody looked at Jimmy Butler to start anywhere. Mm-hmm. He manufactured himself into a superstar player. Mm-hmm. Right. So... Whatever he envisions or whatever he puts into to, to, into the space and out there into, into the universe, he put those four it lights, normally man. comes back. So 100%. all I'm saying is that I'm not I'm not looking at it crazy crazy, but there is a lot of competition. I, I want to see I how see it him making it to the finals. It's possible. It's definitely it's possible. possible. You know, we didn't think it was possible in 23. And Facts we did it. Facts beat Facts. the Bucks. Well, I did. Next. I did say. Playoff Jimmy is gonna show up. Yeah, I did yeah. say that. It was a good series though. We can't even deny that. That was one of the best games with that comeback. Yeah, bro. That was, mm-hmm. It was just a lot to come back from. So yeah. you know they had the advantage. We're gonna keep it in Miami. Messi is down there playing his first game, right? Yeah. And he said that he scored a goal already, right? He's about to score like 150 goals down mm-hmm. there. Uh, and the only part that I don't like. You know, everything's good. Love Messi. Love the fact that he's in MLS now is gonna bring major eyes to to the sport here right it could be but it, it, it might be able to jump start it here right it may take him to do that right well it did jump start when with beckham i get it but this but he's way bigger it than kind of started the saying. conversation yeah but like a messy yeah right like now, messy messy off, messy off will win, change the game right. off that last win from the world cup right now yeah messy will change the game but my problem is that why kim k gotta be everywhere oh god i hate her yo the first it. thing I saw on my phone was her. She, Messi's hair. What do I need to see her for? Every everywhere she and mind you, anytime she's at an event, team loses. Fucking Teamy bitch. rubbish. I don't even see her. I'm trying to show him what that mouth do though. Get her old ass out of here. There you go. You need to relax. <laughs> That's what she doing. Get her old ass out of here. I don't need to see her. She don't even she, what, she not, she's not relevant to sports. She, she don't got it no more though. She right. don't. Oh, what do you mean? Band. Nah, she don't, bro. She don't got she, it. She don't have she, she don't, don't, have, don't have, she don't have the glow no more, bro. Nah. Oh no. Nah. She don't have nah. She's holding on to it. She's trying to hold on to it. She ain't got that glow no more, bro. Mm-hmm. But she's working. She out right. here working right yeah. now. Yeah. Her time's expired just like her ass. Yo. Kanye 2024. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> he, 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 beat, he beat the Matrix, bro. He ruined her. Easy told her. Dude. He did it. But he's I agree with you, bro. The glow's gone. It's you got over. the shirt on right now. You got the last dragon shirt. Don't be somebody he, mother. He ain't yeah, got sucker. you know, she she's uh <laughs> she's showing up right now yeah. trying to get the spark in my hands. It's gone. It. it's gone. It's gone. Away from this to Yeah. <laughs> Show no, it's gone. It's gone. No so, glow. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. Like, well, I don't need to see you with no events. Where's Drake? Where's somebody like this? Like, I don't need to see her. You know what I mean? Where's A Rod? I'd rather see J Lo and A Rod. Right. Send me, send me them. Let me see right? Tiana yes. Trump. Send me Britney Spears, bro. Send, <laughs> send Britney down there. No, no, no. Nah, send, no, send, send, send Britney no, down there. All right, send Britney down there. I don't want to see her dancing. And I want to see it. Oh, all right, God. I want to see me, it. Hit me, baby. That song, that song is still fire. That song is still fire. But she's a train wreck. No, she's not. All right, she's you leave her alone. I feel like the next time we see Britney Spears, she's gonna be laying between her toes. Relax. Yo, you know what? You I think? agree with you. Real talk. Yeah, we we, we, we oh, gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. yeah, yeah exactly. I agree. With you. We, we gonna do that. That's unfortunate. But. Exactly. Yeah, I, it is I, unfortunate, but you, you might. Be I right. agree with you. But you I I, right. I love me some Britney Spears, and and I need apologies from Wimbayamba. <laughs> I need that. 
You better yeah. apologize to Britney. Apologize now. It, goes okay? sign a, it was sign, his security. Sign a football nah, or something. Nah, apologize now because his career, if, if he don't job. apologize to Britney, his career might, he, there's, there's, a, there's a dark cloud well, over it already. Well, here's the thing, right? though. Everybody knows this. Britney doesn't own Vegas anymore. Usher owns Vegas now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Usher's you Vegas. You go to fan. Vegas to go see Usher now. Mm-hmm. Nah, yeah, and he can sing to your bitch. That, that's what he does. That's good right. Point. And then he go home and to he his. Dances on he, then he does. go home to his wife. Like, hey, yeah. baby, I love you. Right. He just caused all this drama in your life. Bars. <laughs> Fucking your whole shit. Yeah. After the break, my irrelevant news of the week. He has changed the game. Whether you like it or not, he's changed it. He's impacted the game in some fashion or form. I, I'm going to find a bar mitzvah for you to go to. <laughs> and you go, you're going to turn that motherfucker out. <laughs> yeah, all the gals watching. <laughs> Grab him if, if you got him. If you got him. <laughs> All the gals watching, <laughs> minus, minus six. And I would like to formally welcome you to... Welcome. And welcome. And welcome. To the grid. To the grid. To the grid. To the grid. Welcome to the grid. And welcome, welcome to, to the, the grid. grid. Welcome to the grid. Welcome back, y'all. Now it's time for my irrelevant news of the week. You gotta be kidding me! I mean, how do you watch the? I mean, yeah, yeah they stink. Ah, every week, there's always one Florida man. Have to. It's a one drink minimum when it comes to Florida with irrelevant news of the week. It goes hand in hand. Florida man arrested for allegedly. Selling fentanyl pills disguised as ADHD medication. That's crazy. Wow. That's that is crazy. Wow. What's the point? Florida man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the point. Idiot brain. I'm like born with it out there. That's crazy. Yo, what? This is the water. They got to be. Bro. The, the swamp water. I've never heard no wild <laughs> shit like that. It's the sea water. water. You know, maybe it's like the. You know, they got all those, like, the bayous and stuff like, like that out there. Maybe, like, the mosquitoes get something out of the water. Then, like, when... Yeah, they transfer the idiot yeah, brain to the people. Yeah, they transfer the idiot brain from the water to the people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something just crazy. It's like, bro, people over here trying to get the ADHD medication, and now, now they high as shit. Like, what are we potentially, doing? They're crazy. Potentially that dying. Potential death, yeah. right? That's crazy. Down in the bayou. But I just don't understand, like... How are you really making money off of that? Like, what is the point? But I'm saying, if it's the same ticket, like, if someone, well, pills is pills, right? Right. Like, if it's the same ticket, like, oh, yeah, it was, well, yeah but I, I want fentanyl, I want ecstasy. He probably selling it every, anything everything. That, anything that anything. you want is the same yeah. pill. And right. Say, oh, pill. yeah, here we go. Right. Here, it's a water pill. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but, you, <laughs> that's what but at that point, you could just make, sell, sell calcium pills as everything. Like, why fentanyl? Because fentanyl that's is very popular in Florida. Florida. Yeah. You know, I don't like to... With this, but you know, the, you can take any powder and press a pill because the the whites in Florida they like they like the fentanyl. People actually ask for the fentanyl. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Like instead of like the plain heroin, they they like the, and, they, and they like the rather black rather tar cut. fentanyl as well. Wow, yeah, it's bad. Um, moving on, moving on. Crazy. Like I can't deal with the Florida man. I can't deal with it anymore. This one's good. Imagine what they teeth look like. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to see that. But I, I, I guarantee that you probably still take the hey, oh. Well, if you take it, it's because they don't have any teeth anyway. Facts. So. Yeah, facts. Straight gums. Yeah. Straight, it's an experience. Straight, yeah, straight, straight gummo. Mouth, it's an experience. Straight bro. gummo. The fucking gums are rotten. <laughs> straight gummo. Straight the gums gummo. are yeah. rotten. So now you're really just getting the maggots. All right, you got to relax. <laughs> wow. You got to relax. <laughs> you ever, hey, hey brother, bar. you ever yeah, had I need maggots? some of that yuck. Oh, man. Uh, yo, yo, yo. Some of that yuck. What no. I walk into? Yeah, no, dude. <laughs> Moving on. What's that? <laughs> Burger King assistant manager arrested after allegedly serving French fries from the trash can. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Can't make this up. I mean, yo. yo. For Wait. all you fast food people that love your fries, love your Big Macs or whatever it is, you know that the 
they just serving it out of the trash can. Like, okay, hey, cool. We gotta go get some more fries in the back. That's crazy. Trash can worth of fries. Yeah. Nothing gonna go waste in this house. I Facts. Got, I got something special for y'all. Yo. So we can get our li- deliver. Okay. That's, That's crazy. Right That's, That's wild. That's wild. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I tell the truth. Tell the truth. Like for, for the people that do like wherever your favorite restaurant is, right? Here's a question. I want y'all to be fucking honest. If you hear some foul shit about your favorite restaurant, you still going back? <laughs> Phil laughing. He going back. I'm going. Yeah, well, I'm going. well, I ain't gonna lie to you, son. Well, is it a I'm chain? going back. Listen, going back. I like I like going to Burger King. I'm still going there to get my wife. Oh, I don't care. They not they not gonna deter me. That's right. You know, they not gonna deter me. I don't care how many teeth they found. If right, fries. trash can <laughs> fries. If they're gonna serve me trash can fries, my whopper, that's all right. That's all right. I like that place. They're gonna scare me away. I'm just saying. Until you see a fucking rat making that's your true. burger. Right. <laughs> Unless the rat is eating the burger with me, then then we got problems, right? This should be good, right? Truth, I, I need answers though. Favorite place? You hear something foul? You going back? Chipotle. Okay, you hear something foul about Chipotle? You going back? Yes. I'll be honest, yeah, bro. I back. see the people making I'm gonna take a break. the food at Chipotle. I don't trust him. Yeah. But he still goes back. I go back every trip. He loves it. I'm gonna take a we break. We all gonna go back to our favorite yeah, restaurant. Right. It's, it's yeah. all cap. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? We may, we may say it to our whatever, well, see, but we'll go thing. back. Like, where was this Burger King? You know? Like, it wasn't my Burger King. Right. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It was <laughs> in the, mine. It was you know in the box. Listen, until you have a bad experience, you're not go- you're gonna continue to go back. Yeah. Right. Once you have a bad experience, you gotta have it yourself. Yeah, right. Yeah. You you're out of here. That's true. I used That's to love Chipotle. I went to like a Chipotle and like everything tasted like a bucket of salt. Wow. And I never I never went back. They just doubt maybe, maybe everything. Maybe Every- they didn't like you. Crazy. Well, maybe you caught COVID insane. that week. No, nah, no. Nah, you, you remember when? So basically, when you catch COVID, they say. Oh, your senses are heightened. And right, yeah, yeah. Everything tastes saltier. Or I've never heard. You don't have. I never heard that. You don't taste shit at all. I've never heard of this. Yeah, I remember that. COVID. I heard that about people losing. I've heard. Yeah, I've heard losing, losing the smell and taste. taste. I was one of the people that was like, "Yo, everything is salty." Really? really? Yeah. Oh, I never heard that. Everything was salty. I never had. So I'm eating. I'm like, you had that diabetes COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had COVID with sodium. <laughs> I'm like, yo. <laughs> This tastes super salty. Yeah, high blood COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that was like the. Yeah, I've never heard of that. That's I've crazy. never heard of that either. Yeah. And then come to find out the following week, everything was fine. I was like, what the yeah. fuck was that? And That's then interesting. Got tested and, you know. Right. But well, whatever that was, if I, if I had it, I'm never going back. Yeah. It, 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 it ruined <laughs> his Chipotle experience. I'm already right. done. I, that was the last time I've been in Chipotle. That was over. Two years ago. That's crazy. Last story. And of course, we have to go back to Florida. Florida jury awards girl $800,000 after she suffered second uh, degree burns from her chicken nugget. Yo. Yo I've never had Whoever the lawyer ever. is. Phenomenal. Deserves a medal. Mickey Harler. Get his name. Lincoln Lawyer. Bro. <laughs> facts. That's a good show. 800000 for getting burned by a nugget? Yeah. Hot I've nugget. never had anything from a fast food restaurant that was hot enough to even burn me. I got burnt by air fry today. I can do fries. You got burnt? Fry, yeah. But, yo. Chicken nugget. 800,000? Listen. That's fine. And first of all, you getting second degree burns from food? Shot you know, man? I mean, I mean, I mean, honestly. At what like, restaurant? You know, McDonald's. Like, you know, when you crack that chicken nugget, that, that motherfucker hot. Is right? It? I've never really seen that. Okay, so, yeah. here, so here, let me help you out. If you want to now have a lawsuit against McDonald's, right, order your fries with no salt, right? Because they come fresh from the fryer. Facts. Go ahead and spill that in your lap. On your face. Right. <laughs> Yo, that, that's, that's, that, that's a template. I'm, yeah, because, well, you know, I'm because doing I order french fries with no salt all the time for the kids, and yeah. they're burning But out. the thing with yeah. me, I would, like, as crazy as it sounds, like, you're finessing the system, but I would feel so stupid just being like, oh, yeah. I got to get a lawsuit because I burnt myself <laughs> eating chicken nuggets. Yeah, but see, but, while, but while I feel stupid in my second degree burns, I got eight hundred thousand dollars. I got eight hundred k in Facts. my bank. Facts. You know what I mean? So that's a winning the lotto. That's all I'm saying. Little girl gonna have college paid for. She gonna have everything paid for. Facts. She good. Well, if she said she it good. correctly, yeah. 
She good. Well, uh, unless her mom both do her shit like hammer. Wait, this is yeah, Florida? Yeah. Oh, that money's long gone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit big. Yeah. Like crystal meth. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. <laughs> they, already, they already smoked it. In yeah. Yo, right. they're going to buy a double wide trailer. Stop start it. cooking it. <laughs> Stop it. Like, Stop it. In clear water. But that is my. Yeah, like clear water, Florida is a bar. Irrelevant news. You got to be kidding me. I mean, how do you watch that? I mean, yeah, they stink. Move on. Moving on. I am a fan of Eric, of Evan Fournier. Oh, I am. I see Eric Adams. No, 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 no. You you leave Eric Adams alone. Uh, hip hop lawyer. I mean, a hip hop mayor is the man. He's the man. Uh, Evan Fournier said what everybody that's a true Nick fan probably wanted to say. Facts. You know the fact that he's French. He probably he went to his French media and mm-hmm. you know they they do things you different tweet, over there. You tweet. So he said that, you know, there's no way that he shouldn't have been playing. Paraphrasing, right? Basically saying that, like, you know, he spent a lot of time on the bench and he thought a lot, a lot of stuff. He looked at Derrick Rose and they both looking at each other like, how is this life? Like, what's see, going on here? There's no way we should be sitting on the yeah. bench. How'd you say uh, bench? How'd you say? Right. Yeah. And we, we, we watched the playoff games and we were just like, oh, how are they not playing? At least give them a shot. So, like, for me... You're gonna because he got signed last offseason. Wasn't the last offseason yes. he got signed? So for him to not even be in the rotation. It was the point. Like what what is this coach doing? Like for them to not see that Thibodeau's the problem. Typical Knicks. Typical Knicks. You go ahead and fire the GM, right? But you don't fire the coach. You once you hire a new GM, you know what's going to happen. So maybe they're waiting for that because the GM, new GM, is going to want to hire his own coach. Right. So Homer Simpson, his time is up soon. His time is up soon. He, he can go back to Chicago, wherever you want to go. But he needs to get the hell out of New York because he's the reason him, Randall, and the GM held this team back. Right. They you know what I'm saying? Go. Huh? They can all go. Yeah, they can. We were saying, like, when are they going to put Rose in? Like, what is going on? Right. Happen? Give Bro. him a shot. How like, you- the team offense, you had one guy scoring all the points. Jalen Brussels was going all the points on the right. Knicks. How about you try somebody else and give them a shot? You never know what happens. And at the same time, they they weren't even getting out rebound. They were getting beat down the they court. They were getting out hustled. So you got to go small. Right. There's no point of having multiple bigs in there, bro. Like you could have put a small lineup in there, move Brunson to the two, because he's pretty much getting you all the points. Bro, there was there was no reason for them to be playing Mitchell Robinson at all. Valid. At all. You gonna play Randall at the five and and, and that bench way. RJ put RJ ass on the butt, well, bench play RJ at the four even at yeah. the four valid you could you could have went but that takes a coach that knows what they're doing to do so correct you have people there bro I concur so that's that's the problem is that Fournier sees it we all see it Homer Simpson's the problem he gotta go he gotta go moving on moving on I didn't want to get to this but I guess we're gonna talk about it now. Dwight Howard. <laughs> Bati. I let I let you break it because this is this is this is something a story that's like you, you can be able to Okay. So here we go. Dwight Howard. I don't wanna I'm not gonna say sexually assaulted another man, but he assaulted another allegedly. Man. Allegedly assaulted a man oh, after meeting up with him off of what is it, Instagram or Twitter? Yeah, I think it was Instagram. He was like in the DMs. Yeah. He was, you know, they were calling each other sexy and all sorts of other flirtatious things were going on. Yo, the text messages are wild, bro. The DMs yeah. are crazy. Yo, it was wild, bro. Nah, bro. The DMs are crazy. Really? It was wild. And he's like, yo, um, in the DM, in the DMs talking about, well, is is the address correct? He goes, yeah. He says, I'm on my way now. He goes, well, are you interested in threesomes? Because in a couple of hours, I could get a few more people. And like, it was wild, bro. Who said all this? Dwight, Dwight Howard. Howard. The fuck was the he doing boys? Boys? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. And I'm pretty sure this went down in Georgia. Christian mingled the White House. Where else would this happen except for Atlanta? Great, exactly. But back blew it out. Oh. Disgusting. You gotta relax. Oh, okay, I didn't say it. Hey but, yo, um, what the fuck? And then the guy came out and said he was assaulted. So now, if I'm gonna build the story off of this, assaulted. Yeah, I want to hear it. I'm gonna say maybe Dwight was, you know, he's a larger a guy. Pause. But you know. Maybe try to get a little rough with the guy, you know? 
seven foot tall. You know, maybe the guy wasn't. Maybe he's a and you know, guy. in that world they have power tops and power bottoms. Right, right. right. This is Demetrius Fleming. What's his name? It, right. You know, so. <laughs> Maybe he was a little rough, and he was like, Dwight, stop, Dwight, stop. Dwight said, no, I ain't stopping. You're going to take this. <laughs> yeah, you're killing the phone, bro. And you're going to put your legs behind your head like a person. You're going to take this hammer. Afterwards, um, I'm, maybe he had to call the authorities. Maybe yeah. he, you know, he, he, once you go black, you go wheelchair. He bled, he bled right. his Uber. That's a white chick. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you go black, you I ain't going to lie. That's wheelchair. a very plausible story. It is. It's possible. You gonna go say all this wild stuff in the DMs and then call assault? Wait, 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 wait. What type of assault are we talk about here, fam? And in the messages, he goes, "Are you home alone?" He goes, "Well, my son is here, but he's sleep." Oh, God. oh, now that's foul. Oh, this is crazy. And still had dude come over. I don't know what the fuck he was doing overseas, but I don't want to find out. Lady boy, damn. <laughs> the white, the white. And <laughs> hey, yo, and mind you, he says in the DMs, he makes it known, hey. Hey, I'm not gay or anything. Yeah. I'm just into freaky shit. That's what he said. In the words of Ice T. Right? <laughs> that means you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> the Yo. Yo, lady boy. Oh, Yo, Phil, you have to look this up, know, bro. Up, you got to look this oh, up. It's everywhere. Oh it's everywhere. Oh, bro. I was shocked. And I was very uncomfortable <laughs> You know what? Read those for? DMs. You know, I feel bad for it. His son that he was ridiculing to quit on the Yo. treadmill. Yo, because this whole time, he's like, dad, be a man, right? Yeah, his, this whole time, his son's probably like, "You're such a gay <laughs> ass." <laughs> you got <laughs> breath. Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my goodness! <laughs> you know what's crazy? I tried my best to get nah, through this. Nah, you, 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 yo, and then yo, here you go. It's true. And here you go. Never get my job. Never. 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 Oh my God. Yo. Need a new avenue. They're going to cancel us. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> he can't help himself. He can't help himself, dude. Like, but yeah, I, I look at the White Howard completely different. But, but you know what's going to happen now, right? The White Howard stock about to go up. Oh, yeah. The whole community is going to come out. Stock about to go up. About to go up, just like Nasdaq. Yep. About to go up. Dow Jones. About to go up. People about to start buying Dwight Howard jerseys. I'm pretty sure this started in yep, Asia. They're gonna start putting. Nah, I'm talking about here though. I know. I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure this started in Asia. He's they probably make, you know walking down the strip, yeah. walking down the strip, hollering at you know chicks. You know. You know. Don't. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Yeah, it's over. I mean, I'm yeah. sorry. Let's go to break. Let's go to break. We might as well do a break. Go to break. <laughs> go to break. Pull the plug. After the break, we can do it. <laughs> Abort. Jesus. Let's get us out of here. Oh, you killed that one. You the man for that shit. Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. You guys good? I'm great. Straight? <laughs> good? Straight. All right. <laughs> Facts. Shots fired! Shots fired! Um, Stephen A. Smith went to his, pro, uh, his platform and said that the rumors are true. Shannon Sharp is talking with ESPN to possibly Espen. be on first take. And he's like, I want Shannon. It's going to happen. You know, I'm pushing it to happen. Blah, blah, blah. Thoughts? How do we feel about this? Is this a good move? Is I think this... it's a level up. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. I think it's a level it up. I think the two of them, they would feed off each other very well, uh-huh. personality-wise. I just like the good look. Yeah, go ahead. I hope that uh, no egos get involved. And later on, it turns into some BS. Well, I, I don't think that... See, that that's the thing. I think with this situation, Shannon is coming in with his star, but he's coming into Stephen A's world. Mm-hmm. This is Stephen A's show. 
you understand that you play a part. You can never ask for any more ownership or whatever it is. Whatever Stephen A. says goes. And it's what? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but that's the same thing with the skip, though. Right. So what happened in that situation? Well, we don't necessarily know. Well, because, I, I mean, we can always speculate, right, about all the stuff that they had, the arguments that they had on camera, they, you know, that, that never got squashed or right. Shannon felt a certain way, so he felt that he had to leave maybe. Who knows, right? So a new situation, you know, we'll see what happens here. We'll see if they're actually a good fit because that's another thing. Shannon is great. Stephen A. Smith is great. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be great together. Yeah. Right. So we have to see how it works. But it's something that it's going to be interesting, right? Because like, uh, Michael Irving and Stephen A. Smith was gold on TV. Shout out to Michael Irving. Like he needs to come back on TV. Like nice. this whole yeah. thing that he's going through. Like the fact that he's that he is not on TV while this is going on is nonsense. Lost his job or was taken off TV because of something that was proved that it was BS, and he's still not back on TV. Yeah, it's crazy. Now, my thing is, knowing the situation now, that Shannon Sharp has that experience right. of being you know, with Skip. Now, coming into a new situation, maybe that's what's taking so long now is the actual contractual agreements and everything. The details. Right. Yeah. Because now he may see, all right, maybe in this situation, I didn't have any type of leverage or control. Maybe he's trying to get some there. Maybe, you know? Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, I think, listen, I think both shows are going to be fine, right? Like, Undisputed is coming back in August, right? Mm -hmm. There's rumors that it might be um, uh, Richard Sherman. It could be, um, what's the guy's name? Shady McCoy. It could be Nick Wright. It, there's a lot of people that they're floating around. I don't know if they've locked in somebody there's a lot of rumors out there who, who, who knows but um i think both shows are gonna be fine like the the one thing that i don't like <clears throat> and everybody knows that i'm a big fan of skip bayless i i don't like the narrative that a lot of people put out there where it's like oh skip bayless is using the black man to be able to profit i mean isn't everybody doing that so when Shannon Sharp gets the ESPN and first take and the show takes off, can't you say the same thing about Stephen A? That he's using another black man to profit? But because it's Skip Bayless, right? It's different. It's a different energy. It's a different vibe. Skip Bayless is a kingmaker. Whoever gets with Skip Bayless, you're, you're better for it. Right. So I don't understand where's the shade. If you go with somebody who's going to make you a kingmaker, wouldn't everybody flock to that? Right. Rather than all of this nonsense or the rumors talking about that he can't find a co-host, I would jump at the chance to go get to go argue with Skip Bayless because he's always going to play the villain role. Wait, they're so saying when, he can't find a co-host? That's what they're saying. That's, rumors. That's, I think it's it cap. Sounds like pure stupidity. I think it's cap. I think I think they're just playing into the narrative that Shannon left. And Shannon's the star, and now you desperate to find a co-host. I, he ain't he ain't desperate at all. Skip is fine. <laughs> Skip is seventy years old. You think he's worried about all this nonsense? He go home to his wife and his dog, and d don't think about none of this nonsense. Okay. Why everybody's over here mad? Did you hear what Skip? <laughs> did you hear what Skip said about he Dak? He does look like the type of guy to kiss his dog in the mouth. I mean, yeah, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of whites do. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, you kiss your dog in the mouth. See, she She's, does. No, she doesn't. Oh, she does. She's smart. She Nicole doesn't have idiot brain. She don't. She don't. And she's been around us enough to kind of get hit the game. You know, yeah. it's true. But for me, I think you know. Hopefully, <clears throat> I hope it happens because I would love to see Shannon Sharp there with everybody else. I think it'd be great. I think it's good for his career. Get him back on TV. Uh, I think Skip is gonna do fine. Whoever his co-host is. Both shows are going to be fine. So, right. you know, to throw shade at Skip when Shannon Sharp, his career, is his media career is because of Skip. Same thing with, with Stephen A. Yeah. Stephen A would have never had another opportunity had it not been for Skip. So it's like, 
I don't understand what the shade is. Give credit when credit is yeah, due. Yeah, like if you don't like the dude, you don't like the dude, but don't throw shade in unnecessary like narratives. Right. Like I heard Cam was was playing, like, he was pushing that narrative about the whole. Yeah, come on, what are you talking about? Please. Stupid. And I, there's plenty of people that feel like that, and it's just like you understand how life works. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're, that's why you're still at the end of the day. Skip Bayless is Skip Bayless. Yeah, man makes millions of dollars to hate LeBron. That's that's a that's a skill, right? <laughs> you gotta say it. like somebody pays you to say, "Listen, I just need you to throw shade at LeBron every day, and we give you eight million dollars a year." Right? Hey, if somebody gonna pay me eight million dollars to throw shade at Chris Paul every day. But you do it for free. Yeah, I do it free. It's good. <laughs> do that. Are you gonna pay me to do that? Come on, moving on, moving on. Only baseball news we're gonna talk about today. We ain't talking about no damn Mets or the Yankees. We're done with them. Right? We're gonna talk about somebody who actually could play. Uh, Shohei Atani, the the biggest star in baseball, Mister Two Way, Mister Barry Bonds, Mister. You know, best pitching to get whoever you want to talk about. He's two people in one, right? Well, the Angels suck. They've always sucked. They've had this great player for the last six years. They stink, right? They're now considering trading Shohei Itani. He's going to be a free agent at the end of the year. <clears throat> As, you know, for them, if you know you're going to lose him in the offseason, might as well get some for him, Right? Dodgers are rumored to be to be favorites. I think the Yankees, uh, Padres said that they were probably in the mix. There's a couple of teams. But if he doesn't get traded, or if he does get traded, I think the best ideal spot for him, not for nothing, Boston. Ooh, really? I think Boston works. I think Boston works. I think Boston is one of those teams that's on the fringe. They're a wild card team. That can work. Now, what do you think it comes down to with the trade? Package. It's about what a team is going to be willing to give up. Because we're talking about a generational player. This is somebody who was in the echelon of a Barry Bonds, of a Ken Griffey, of all the great players that you've ever seen. He's in that ilk. Right? He's that good. For you to get this guy, you're literally going to probably have to give up five to seven or eight of your top prospects in your farm system. Wow. And at that point, is it worth it for a rental? Right. Right? Because the Red Sox go get him and they go ahead and empty out the cabinet. If the Yankees do it, if the Mets do it, whoever's doing it has to empty out the cabinet. There's no guarantee that he's going to resign with you. So is it worth it to do, right? How long is how long until his contract over? Until the end of the season, which is September. Well, I think it all depends on which team has gets them the best opportunity to win a World to Series. Win a World Series, which would be the Dodgers. Um, who else? I can't put the Yankees in there, but if they get him, they would have a chance. Their chances would skyrocket. The Rays, right? The the Orioles. These are teams that are like in first place right now. So it, it's tough. Like for me, as good as he is, as great as he is, as generational as he is, I don't necessarily believe that if I'm a GM, I'm giving you my top 10 prospects. I just can't. Because if I do that at the deadline, you're setting my organization back a decade me have to try to repair that right. is it worth it if you win a world series i guess but Let's one see. player doesn't doesn't in baseball one player doesn't change that for you it may come down to that though it may come down to teams multiple teams saying hey listen we don't want to give up this much yeah and then something has to be restructured yeah i, I think i think he you know obviously he's going to find a new team in the off season um if you had to put a guess on it, Nicole, give me a team. Uh, there's a team like overall that's like signed him in the offseason. I think. I don't know. I'm not sure what's the person's 
Dodgers make yeah, I think Dodgers are are the team. Um I think San Diego may maybe a dark horse. San Diego. For them, I feel like it's a win now and like they can just forget yeah. about it. All right. So definitely Yeah, for you all right, for you Met fans I already went on the tirade last week and you can forget it. <laughs> I'm not even mentioning them. But what but but in your in last week's tirade, right? If yes. you get rid of all of these people that are not performing and you don't you don't give in to trading all these pieces in order to, you know, satisfy this win now right. scenario because obviously as a Met fan, it win now is not a scenario this year. It's a pipe dream. Wouldn't it just be smarter for you to get rid of all these players, wait until he's a free agent, and then you have money you want to spend and then spend that money and bring him? Yeah, you're right. I don't doubt that Steve Cohen is going to take a shot at him. Right. I don't doubt that maybe Steve Cohen offers the most money right. for Shohei. That makes perfect sense. I don't think that Shohei's going to take it, is what I'm saying. Mm. He will take less money to be comfortable where he wants to be, right? Mm. So sometimes, the, the you know, Steve Cohen may come out and say, hey, 14 years, 625, take it or leave it. That's a lot of bread. That's a lot of money. It's a commitment. You know what I'm saying? But for Shohei, he may want to go to the Dodgers for 10 years at 570. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That that makes more sense for him if he wants to stay on the West Coast. So I, I'm curious to see how it uh, how it plays out. Like I'm curious to see if the Angels actually get aggressive and really want to pull the trigger on that because time's a ticking. And they've done poorly by this guy. And I, I said it before. If they trade Shohei, it's time to trade Trout too. Get rid of both of them. Trout is a generational player. He's getting older. Get rid of both of them. Clean the books and start fresh. So what's the point? What's the point of keeping them? So. Yeah. Done nothing. Can't even scratch the playoffs. That's what, that's why baseball is an interesting sport. You can have these generational players on your team. Two guys are not going to make a difference. You need a team to be able to carry you. And that's what that's that's why baseball is hard. That's why the Mets suck. So, moving on. To the greatest segment on the planet, WWE. Tommy. Yeah. Every week I ask, who? Who is the dummy of the week? Claw. Hey. Who you got? I got pretty much the double XL freshman rapper class of this year. Explain. I need to hear it. I don't have all their names. I watched a few videos just recapping it. And it got bad to the point that let alone most of these rappers ain't talking about nothing. And they're all mumble rappers, most of them. One of them stopped fucking rapping and started dancing. <laughs> his name is too rare. And let alone, his shit was trash. The dancing was trash he or the rapper started, trash? Nah, he just started dancing, doing some hey, hey, like type shit. His shit was just bad. Like, I've never seen that shit in a freestyle Freshman shit. Usually, oh, he, started, uh, he started dancing during the freestyle. freestyle. Yes, he stopped rapping and started dancing. Like part of the freestyle. Bro, that shit was terrible. And then let alone, like, his fit alone was like, he got a haircut, whatever. But you know how they had the barber put that shit on your line to show your line? Dog the, still got that shit. That white like, line? Come oh, on. stop it. Oh, no. Oh, stop man. it. Yo, that's just he was like, fresh out the chair? Yo, dog, that shit is bad. His team or somebody didn't say, yo, my boy, uh-uh. It's just like these little kids when they run and they put their arms behind their back instead of uh, trying to the run. They throw them back. Oh, yeah, that's the... That's the, the, the Naruto. 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 It's an anime. It's an anime run. Anime run. Aerodynamic. Come on, guys. <laughs> Different. Do that. Running like Sonic. That shit makes sense. But Running the shit like he did was Draga. <laughs> I'll send you the video. Listen, I, like, I, call me an old head. I, I don't understand the music. I just... I, I don't understand the new music. Like, I... That shit was bad. Like, I got a, I got a little homie... You know, shouts to him. He just dropped a um a single today, right? So watch the video. And I'm watching and I'm just like I don't understand hmm. anything that he's saying. Well, you know what they're gonna say? 
it's not for us, right? Yeah. That's what they're going to say. It's not right. for us. Not for but at the end of the day, it's it's literally just trash. One man's trash, another man's trash. True story. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that I, I'm going to go with, it's just not for me. Like, you know, I, I don't get it. I don't want to get it. I'm all right with being on the other side. It's not for me. Right. It's not for me. But yo, like, like, I mean, real quick, before we even yeah. segue off, like, yo, Pop Smoke, when Pop Smoke popped, you knew what it was. It was fire. Mm-hmm. He was young. He was from that generation. It sounded like something. You was like, oh, nah. Dog got it. Right. Everybody based their shit off of him. But for every Pop Smoke, you have a hundred r- r- mumble it's, rappers It's, it's what trash. I'm trying to say. At the end of the day, it's like, all right, but you got the formula, fam. Like, yo, just do that. Y'all going to copy the shit anyway. Put some effort into the shit and just try to make sense of it, man. Nah. Yeah, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. You tell somebody, go climb a tree, they go jump in the water. Yeah, facts. So, it's crazy. And drown. <laughs> and drown. True. Phil, who you got? Uh, anyone who wants to visit Paris. Okay, I need to hear this. Tell me more. I don't know. I guess the current trend on, on Twitter is... To show how ghetto Paris is, really? So, yeah. So every time I turn on Twitter, it's people showing like Paris covered in graffiti, <laughs> like garbage everywhere, homeless sleeping everywhere, like the tower looking like trash, like what? the Eiffel Tower looking like trash. They're like, this, this is what this is what you save up all your money to come to. So they're trying this to say that Paris looks like uh, Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, they're, 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 wrong. <laughs> Looks like Brooklyn <laughs> Boulevard. It's like New York with the migrants. Right. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. That's Because I always wanted to go to Paris. Facts. Like, I always, you know, beautiful like, city really- of love, city of lights, like all type of stuff. Nah, but now it just seems like stuff for what? <laughs> like, yeah. well, they ruined it for us. They turned they it into something? It. They ruined it. Something, bro. Ruined well, it. if you look at the trend and everything that's going on, most major cities that people would love to go visit during tourism now are all turning to shit. Yeah, that's a good point. Except for Destin, Florida. That's a nice place. <laughs> Where? You just can't go in the ocean now because there's sharks in there. Cocaine. It's a lot of sharks around. Yeah, these yeah. sharks get yeah. crazy. A lot of sharks cocaine. around. But... Nicole, you got? I'm going to go with America, who has more gun stores than McDonald's, Subway, and Starbucks combined. America. That is America. our culture. Right? America. America. Mer- America proud. Okay? Like we that. have we love our hot dogs and our hamburgers, but we would rather our firearms more. Then food. True. Okay? And Bud Light. And Bud Light. Not no more. Oof. America. Wow. That I mean, that's not even a shock though. It's, it's not, not a shock. shock. Like that's kinda on on brand, right? That there's more gun stores than anything else in our in our in our society in America. Makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, they still get it though. So. Dummy, yeah. I didn't, I didn't get the dummy for you. Dummy, yeah. I didn't get the dummy for you. So. Dummy, yeah. 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 Three peat hat trick. Facts. Fang, we got two drink minimum. All right. First one goes to Universal Studios. Universal Studios. Why do they get the dummy? Yeah. Because now they're under investigation. Because all the trees, I guess, where the picketers and the protesters were, you know, while they're out there, you know, doing their thing, they would get shade. Miraculously, one day they come in, and there's no leaves or anything on the trees. So pretty much, Universal Studios pruned all the trees, took off all the leaves, so they would have no shade to make them hot and uncomfortable, so that they would not be there. Yo, that's <laughs> funny. That's smart. That that is kind of smart, though. I ain't gonna hold that's you. Smart. He's like, oh yeah, I want to y'all want to be out here riding and picking and cool. Yeah, but now you're under investigation. Take trees. <laughs> take them. Take them out. Take, take them out. Do it. You do want us to uproot them? No, 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 no. Just no, cut just, the just trees. cut the leaves. Right. Make them burn. <laughs> yeah. Let the boar watch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. let, let him watch. <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So Universal Studios, you are definitely under investigation, and you are definitely considered for the dummy. Yeah. Who's the next one? Oh, this one's gonna be something. This one goes to 18-year-old Jasmine Payez. Miami mother who's arrested for attempting to hire a hitman to kill her three-year-old son. I heard about that what? one. Yeah, I heard about that I one. I heard about that one. And she went on, like, a fictitious website to do shit, too. Like, dude. She she went out the way. Like, like 
What? These Florida people, man, I just, I got nothing. She hired a hitman. To kill her three-year-old child. To kill child. her three-year-old. Okay. All right. Florida. Wow. Like, you got foster homes, adoption. They got those new boxes now, too, where it's like you can go. It's like a, literally like a drop box where you open it up. You can place your child inside of it, and an alarm Stop. goes off and you're alerts playing, people. You're, nah, that's not that's Yes, not I a thing. swear. It's actually a good that's thing. That's not a thing. It's actually a, real? And it's actually a great idea because you, yeah. won't, you won't be Fire finding stations. babies now in trash cans and alleys. Mm. It's like a, a legit drop box. You pull the handle down. You put your child in it. It's like a... Like a clear, like, you know, when you're in the hospital with your child, you're in that clear little incubator. Yeah. It's sort of like that. There's, like, toys in there for the children. When Get you put them in there, an alarm goes off, and someone comes and takes the child. That can't be real. They're, they're putting them everywhere now. That's crazy. Wow. So okay. it's like you're disposing of your child, but now you're putting your child in the hands Let's of see. someone. Please. Right. Right. I mean, that, that's not not really a bad idea. It's not a terrible yeah. idea. It's, not, it's not terrible. It's not the worst thing I've heard. Right. You know right. what I'm mean? saying? But so, yeah, she, wow. she definitely Better gets than the dumpster. dumpster. She definitely gets the Dummy. Yeah. Got a baby, baby. Let's see what he has. What's up? Yeah. So I guess we all in Florida today. Did you hear about the new Florida standard for students? Nope. No. Uh, during Black History Month? Oh, I did. I did hear Kamala was mentioning this. Go ahead. Go into it. So now in Florida, um, during Black History Month, they're going to teach about, where is it? Black people benefited from slavery because it was taught useful, useful skills Sorry. in Florida. So that shit was a vocational school? Like, what have you? Yeah. Yo. Right. Like some sort of training program? Right. So now they want to incorporate that That's in Florida for their Black History Month. Get the... Yo, Florida's awesome Florida. shit, bro. Florida's all the way. Yo, up. Florida's just the dummy. Yeah, all the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what? It's, it's crazy. That's what we are gonna do. Florida gets the dummy. That's dummy. it. Yeah. No matter what, no matter what it is, I don't care. Anything come out of Florida is dumb. Anything. It's your man. Anything come out of Florida is dumb. Santos right or whatever his name is. What the Ron DeSantis. The thing yeah. about Florida is now, like, everyone's for leaving. At one point, everyone was moving to Florida. Yeah, they're leaving because of the idiot brain. It's Everyone's spreading. leaving now. It's spreading like it's wildfire. There's a, there's a shortage of teachers, a shortage of doctors. Shortage of common sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of idiot brain. Now. Yeah. Yo, I'm telling you, people are scared because it's like, yo, listen, I, did you hear about Shelly and, and, and Megan? You know, they, they, were, they were just fine the other day. And all of a sudden, one of them come down with idiot brain. <laughs> <laughs> and then the whole family got it now. We have to move because it's starting to come down the line. We got to go. We got to go. It's just like COVID. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. After the break, I will reveal my dummy of the week. Yeah. Dummy. Yeah. After the break. Welcome back, y'all. Now it's time for my dummy of the week. Everybody had good ones. Like Phil's. Phil's is good. Paris is Trust. something Boulevard. It's good. Makes sense. Step on the plane and it's, that, that smell is familiar. <laughs> no, I, I know I smell that place somewhere. It smells like mm. it smells like Jamaica Avenue. <laughs> What's going on here? It's fucked up. Man. A lot of gangs in Paris too. Yeah, it's bad. A lot of bad music out there too. Bad food to eat. For, you know what? Let me just. <laughs> Are you guys ready? May I have the drum roll, please? And the winner for Dummy of the Week. Anybody who criticized the YouTuber that went to the WNBA game and fell asleep. <laughs> Anybody. You criticize that man gets the dummy because yeah. here's the thing he's a creator and i'm a content creator i'm gonna back the content creator the man went to a WNBA game wanted to see what it's about sat there and realized it's not really that entertaining to me so i'm just gonna pull out my blanket i'm gonna fall asleep on the sidelines well, they didn't like that. They didn't like that. 
security guard escorted him out of the building. He is now banned from all WNBA events, all NBA events. They said that they're going to send a letter to the NFL. All major sports are going to try to ban him from doing this. Wow. Right? So here's my thing. I sat back and I thought about it and I want to give him credit. So I want to get his name. Um, give me a second. Let me see if you can pull it up for me. Well, he, he must have did it. With, I think he honestly did it with the intentions of just... He brought uh, the WNBA here. sucks. No one's watching this. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, I mean, he did it. He did it to to, to actually like send a message. Obviously, right? I was entertained. I was highly entertained. Like when he, so he was on the sidelines and he shot the basketball when it got to him. Shot a mean air ball, right? And the, the players are like, you're, "Well, you're not supposed to shoot the ball." He's like, "Oh, I was just trying to do a heat check, right?" So it's funny. But here's my problem, right? Is that people are so sensitive. And you know why they're sensitive? Because it's the WNBA. If this was any other organization, if this was tennis, you see people wild out in tennis, go hug the players and do a whole bunch of other nonsense. Nobody's doing that. Golf, you know, they'll get a little ornery, but but they're getting hypersensitive. Why? Because it's the WNBA. Funny, isn't it, Phil? Right? Wait a minute. But, but can, can, you talk, give me his, can you give me his name? I can't. I can't. I, I'm, I'm going to butcher it, but it's like Jadeon? Yeah, Jadeon. Something like that. Jadeon Adams. Yeah. Jadeon Twitch, Adams. Twitch star turned YouTuber. Yeah. But. Really, you know, I'm looking at this picture though. It's hilarious. He's courtside. Yes. He's well, l- he's well. laying across four chairs. Yeah. He he's in a blanket. Like, he's he's well, in like, prime with position a, with a pillow. Just he's think a, about it. He's courtside. For though. you to be able to sit courtside with his four empty seats next to you, you got pet. You got no pet. one's there anyway. Still, it's a lot. It's a lot. Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> yeah. He gets you, the prize. What game do you go sit at courtside and there's that many empty seats in a row? He had space too. There was bad empty That's seats. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's so, so you are going to come at this man for being a content creator. He's sitting there. He, 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 at least he's drawing eyes. And here's the funny part. Here's the funny part. The outrage that people have had, right? The man has generated over like, what was it? Four million views <laughs> for this, so it's everywhere, and people are are just digest, and they love it. Mm-hmm. They love it. And you already know it got more views than WNBA, but yeah, it's just <laughs> I, all I'm saying is that why so sensitive? And at the end of the day, like let's say you go shoot a free throw, there's people yelling, cursing, taunting yeah. all the time. Right. This man just went to sleep. Went to sleep. But that's offensive. <laughs> Maybe. Just maybe, and this is a maybe here, I'm just putting this out here. Maybe you make your product a little bit more exciting. Maybe you won't have YouTubers and content creators doing nonsense like this at your games. Should be a message. Shouldn't take offense to it. Should be a message. That there's a lot of people out there that feel the same way he does. If you had more people at your games, he wouldn't have the space to stretch out. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, I'm, 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 I'm making a better point. It, there's a lot of people that feel that way. There's a lot of people that would rather watch paint dry than watch a single minute of your sport. There has to be a way to be able to appeal to the masses. People are not sexist about women playing basketball it has nothing to do with that it's they nothing to do with that they just don't care it's not I, I, me personally if i'm going to talk about myself i love women's sports i watch i watch the world cup that's playing right now the u.s team is great right they got a nice statue of uh what's her name in uh in new york. yeah yeah I like you know what i mean there's a statue right there in new york like tennis is great love love women's tennis right women's golf good women's bowling Good. Track and field. All of these things. Good. 
WNBA? Mm. It's not a good product. So I don't care what nobody wants to tell me. If you want to say that I'm sexist, or, or I'm saying because it, do, it doesn't appeal to me. It's not good. If I went to a WNBA game and sat in the seat, maybe I would fall asleep too. You gonna kick me out? So this should be a message. And I'm a person that loves to put out PSAs. WNBA, don't be mad, fix it. Don't be mad, fix it. You don't want people to come to your arenas and try to show you up and embarrass your product. How about you put on a product that can't be embarrassed? How about that? How about put on a product that people can actually say, you know what? Give it a chance, it's really a, that good, but it's, it's not. How many teams, can anybody tell me how many WNBA teams there are? I don't know. 12. I know that office is full. 12? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? I don't want to discredit the women playing the sport because some of them are very talented. That I do not want to take away from them. It's the business model that I, that right. I attack. It's not, it's, not right. the, it's not the players, it's the business model. Business model sucks. Right. It's boring. So a YouTuber that's just pointing out what people speak about in barbershops at the water cooler. It's 12. Yeah. Campsites. Oh, you, you hit it spot on. Yeah, spot on. 12. Yeah. Is it really only 12? 12 teams. Yeah. Wow. They're just folding like a deck of cards. There are wiffle ball leagues that have more teams than that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that for people who are offended... Who are so offended? Oh my goodness! This is so, you're showing them up. No, he's not. He's being a content creator that's creating content that four million plus people said, "I'd like to see that." Why? Why is that? Because there's something behind it. That's why. So for you guys, you get the dummy. Yeah. Hold the L. Uh, that's all for the show. Love you guys. Claw, what is the kind word of the week, sir? Damn, I had it. I lost it. But it just came back. And I would honestly say that all these dudes stunting on these chicks, buying them, tricking, whatever you want to call it, simping, whatever you call it. You take her to go see Drake and she throws a bra on stage at the end of the day. You got to go home with that, bro. You got to go home with that titless woman. Titless, well, not titless. Brawless. Brawless woman. She was just, never yours to begin with. Bro. Exactly. She threw Drake. for the street. Right. Threw Drake, that, that brassiere. And he, what was he going to do with it? He'll wipe his face with it? Put his, go she, like, mm, titty residue? Like, he wasn't going to do it. It's, pro it's probably a number in the back of the door. It's just like, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to watch her. After you got her close enough that she could throw her bra that far. Oh, 100%. I mean, that, that was a that was a premeditated hey, strike. Just, just, right. I don't know. Just be mindful of these chicks that you're trying to impress. Cause... Yes. So, basically, let's go ahead and clean that up for Claw, right? <laughs> it's more of, there's a lot of women out there that are built for the streets that you're trying to turn into a housewife. So yeah. Facts. So just let them be them. <laughs> let them be them. Don't try to don't try to reinvent the wheel. Just let them be them. They want to be out there wilding. Hey, leave them for the streets. She could have left the house for all this. Facts. But she didn't. She took off her bra to, 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 to make a scene. To throw it to Drake. Yeah. So like I said, this this was a plan that was thought about for weeks. Yeah. Like once once he said that, hey babe, I got you tickets to go see Drake. She already had her plan in place. Had nothing to do with him. Right. She had her own plan in place. Right. She's for the streets. <laughs> like, <laughs> she's for the streets. Right. And she threw the good bro. Facts. The good bro. The good bro. bro. Yeah, yeah, the good bro. bro. Yeah. Fang. Fang's thoughts. Give me one. I think if Dwight Howard goes to jail, his dream came true. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> oh. Hey. Solid. Hey, no okay. texting. No solid. That was bars. He's with the bros. That was bars. That's a good, I, I, listen, that's a good way to end it. I love that. I'm not going to say nothing else. That's it. Listen. Phil, Paul, Nicole, the ones and twos of Silent Assassin. You already know. I think you 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 made it 75% today. That, that whole last segment, gone. Like, you didn't even see him. He was gone. Out of here. Chilling for Freeze, Fang. 
Till next week, stay safe, stay cool. Peace. My son is the champ, so get over it. <laughs>